Hello. I think we're live. Holy cow. We're getting there. There we are. We've made it. I know everybody was dying with anticipation. Why are they not live yet? Well, it's only eight minutes after. Welcome. I don't think you've ever been on time. All in one. Welcome, welcome. Another exciting episode of Barbarian Kung Fu's Blowout Ben Bash. It's going to be awesome, guys. We got a real whopper of a show for you today. <laughs> so, uh, we only have two other people selling at the moment, so we're going to switch things up a little bit. I'll explain all that in a minute. But first off, I'm going to introduce my two brave sellers who ventured out into the COVID YouTube world to sell comics <laughs> and talk a lot of shit. So what first up, we got... Language. First up, we got Gamers Land in the house. What's up, man? What is going on, everyone? As you can see, I'm still digging through boxes trying to get some books ready. Um, man, that's what we do. Live for that. <laughs> other than that, not much, man. Happy to be here. Um, like Barb said, we're going to switch things up a little bit, and hopefully you guys like it, and it's not too confusing, man. No, they're going to get I'm it. They're going to be like, you know, at first it's going to be like, oh, man, I feel like I just jumped in the deep end, but they can all swim. You know, <laughs> I'm it's going to be good. Next up, your favorite, my favorite, everyone's favorite comic relief. It's Parker. Comic relief? I get it. I see what you did there. It's a double end. It's a double end tandem. Yeah, it looks all fuzzy. Well, I'm using my laptop right now, but then the stream I'm watching on my TV is really, really fuzzy. So I think I'm going to switch to my phone. Um, yeah, so probably by the time you guys see me, hopefully I get this fixed. But yeah, let's have fun. Let's sell some comics. I believe in you. I'm trying to Cooney's not blind always you all mistakes. My, I'm trying to not blind you off my big, big, pale, shiny, bald head. <laughs> hey, thanks, man. I appreciate that. You going for the Rasta look? Yeah, Get something like going that. Down there, going to sell some books, man. I don't know, man. Yeah. We be beating the day. night, y'all. Okay. Oh. So uh, on that note... We, we might have some other people pop in. I've had a couple people say they might stop in later. So uh, that will just have to wait and be a surprise guest appearance sort of thing. But, uh, yeah, so today we're going we're gonna to switch it up for you. We're not going to do minute and a half rounds. It's still going to be some claiming going on. Uh, somebody might throw up something that you can bid on, too, while you're claiming on other stuff. Um it's really just going to be kind of like a free-for-all for each seller. I'm going to set a 10-minute timer, and they're going to have 10 minutes to sell you comics however they damn well please. Pretty simple as that. Get in there and you hang out. Maybe you see something you don't like. You just say pass. Maybe you say, I want to bid on that. You say, give me that. So uh, it'll just take a little bit of uh, patience on y'all's part while you figure out each person and a little bit of uh, participation as well. So let us know how things are going and how you like what they're doing. And if you think it sucks, then, you know, hit that thumb down as you leave. So maybe we can give away a slab today. I doubt it. I'm not even going to pull the damn thing out because I got it buried right now because ain't nobody going to get up to it. I'll, I'll whip it right out. That's, that's dirty. Um, anyway, so uh, real quick for the rules, you got to be 18 to buy. So don't claim anything unless you're 18 because – we don't want to get in trouble with uh, whoever would get us in trouble, you know, with rules. Um, if you uh, do purchase anything, we are taking payment through PayPal, friends and family. We also have a lot of people that are not taking PayPal if you can help it, but you can do Cash App, Venmo. Just depends on the seller, how they're taking it. Like, as you can see, I take Cash App and I take PayPal. Um the seller will explain how they want you to pay. But uh, if you do pay PayPal, please pay friends and family. No notes in the notes. Just pay mm -hmm. and then hit us up on Instagram or send an email, and we can get in touch with you then about your shipping info. If you want to pay goods and services, that's fine. Just let us know ahead of time so we can uh, just send you an invoice at the very end, and uh, and that way you can pay that way. Um you got some echo there, buddy. 
Um, after, uh, yeah, as, as far as that goes, the shipping, uh, we do standard shipping. Some people do it different, but just, just as a standard, you know, rule of thumb, one to nine, one to, one to 10 books is going to be $9. And 11 books to 45 books is going to be $15. Like I said, some people might do it different. It ain't no big deal. Just to find out from that seller once you buy something from them. But, you know, if you buy 12 books, don't expect to pay $9 on shipping because that's probably going to be more than anybody would comfortably want to ship for $9. Um, but uh, other than that, you know, y'all just have fun. Hang out in the chat. Let us know, you know, tell us about your day. Let us know what you're looking for. Let us know how you like the new setup. Uh, tell us um, your favorite bedtime story if you get bored and you want to take a nappy nap. Um, but just, yeah, keep it positive. Have fun and be active. Um, I got the same giveaway as always. We get up to 100 thumbs up or thumbs down. I'll give away that ASM 252 slab that I've shown in every single stream that I've ever done since I was a wee lad born in the mountains of Jerusalem. Um, and uh, I guess for anybody that buys tonight, I'll find something to give away. I hadn't really pulled, any, pulled anything out yet, but, oh, here we go. I have this, I'll, I'll give this away. This is something I'm sure that everybody's gonna wanna freaking fight for. Y'all get ready for this. Oh, wait, we, do we like Castle or do we like the Kingsman? Let's do the Kingsman. I think I like the Kingsman better. Pass. Castle's a hardback. It weighs more. So here, let me click my camera back on. So anybody that buys from anybody, we'll, uh, I'll, I'll just give this away. It's a trade paperback of Kingsman, the Secret Service. You know, like the movie. So you can read the comic book because it does have comics. <laughs> so hey, you like that? It's really I good. That. If you don't like. If you don't like that one, I also have this hardback of the of Castle Deadly Storm. Like that's the only two I got left. So yeah, if anybody's into those, I'll let you pick which one you want. How's that sound? That's even better. On that note, I'm gonna real quick shout out the chat because I always forget. Let to me do in. That. I'm backstage. You're not backstage. I see you right there. I am. There's two of you though. I'm backstage. Oh, let me click that. I want to beat you so I can turn this one off. Cool, thanks. Y'all don't want to see all that. Um, okay, so first off, first in today, getting here early, our homeboy, Cyborg Dad Mystery. Thanks for coming out, man. Thanks for sharing all these links all the time. Always promoting for us. I appreciate that. We got uh, Lacrucius 1971 in the house. Getting here early, too. What's up, man? Hopefully you're still here. Weapon X is in here. We got T-Pain in here. Joe M, thanks for coming out, everybody. Parker's in there chatting. We got your boy in the house. What's up, your boy? We got Emmy your Comics boy. in the house. We got mm -hmm. Captain Comics in the house. And we're going to sell some comics up in the house. So y'all strap in, get ready, and we're going to get this show on the road. So gamers, I'm going to hit you first. Yeah, man, let them know what you're going to do, and let me know when you're ready to start the timer. All right. You can start the timer already, man. If we're going to do 10 minutes, we can explain as we count the timer down. So I'm going to do mine a little different. you got two spots here. you got A and B. These are going to be my auctions. So you guys can bid on them, do whatever you want to do, um, and these are all your buy it nows. So that's the way it's going to run tonight. Every time you guys do this one, um, if you buy a buy it now, I'll replace the book because we got plenty of time. And these prices will never change. So these are going to be $2 spots, a $2 spot, a $3 spot, and a $5 spot. And these two will also not change. If you're going to bid on an auction, say A1, A2, or for example, this is Venom 28. Super nice book. We're going to start this one off at $15 starting bid. So you would do A15, the next person A16. If you want to do the X-Men lot, you would say B3, B4. So hopefully everybody understands that and it's not too confusing but in that case, let's go. So this is Venom 28. Oh. This is, yes, this is a Peach Momoko. Very nice. And like I said, we're going to start that one off at $15 bid. In the B spot, you have a nice little X-Men lot and Wolverine lot. We're going to start this one off at $3. You get X-Men number six. You get X-Men hidden years, collector's item first issue. You get the Uncanny X-Men uh, issue number 338. Angel Reborn, you get Wolverine 61, and this one's backwards, you get Wolverine 51. So 
three dollar starting bid you get one two three four five x-men books so there you go hopefully these don't fall um in your c spot for one dollar you get spider island herc and you get cloak and dagger spider island so one yeah, of three cool yeah and issue number eight so for a buck you get two books that's in the c spot in the e spot you get Superman and Wonder Woman, issue number 13. You get The Adventures of Superman with a nice little Superboy cover, 501. And you get Reign of Doomsday, Superman, Steel number one. So you get three books for a buck on letter E. In the F spot, you get a very nice Earth's Mightiest Avengers, issue number eight. And you get The Uncanny Avengers, issue number three. For $2, you get two books, a dollar a book. You can't beat it. In the G spot, he says a dollar. In the G spot, you get a nice little run of Uber. Um, Barbarian says it's a nice story. I've never read it. Um, but you get issue number one, and you get two covers for issue number one. You get one cover for issue number two, and you get a whopping one, two, and three covers, which is a nice incentive yeah, for number that's three. The incentive for it. Yeah, so three bucks for the whole set in the G spot. And on the H spot, for five bucks, you're going to get five nice lady covers. Grimm's Fairy Tales mainly. This is Wonderland, issue number six. You get Wonderland, issue number four. You get Grimm Fairy Tales, number 60. You get Beyond Wonderland. And this would be, does not tell me an issue number, but still a nice cover. So, oh, and you get Witchblade. So, number three. So, one, two, three, four. You get five books for five bucks. That's a dollar a book in the H spot. So, whatever you guys want, there's plenty of options. Whoa. There. That, that's totally shined out right there. You can't see that one. Oh, no hold on one second. It's because I got to flip it this way. Boom. Flip, flip it. There, there you go. go. All right, so, y'all. You know what to do. If you want to claim one of them books, claim the letter in the buy it nows, or you can start bidding anytime. Just let him know if they're interested in any of these. Feel free to uh, say pass if you're not. You know, let him know so he, uh, he can keep on going and showing you more stuff. Yes, we will keep on rolling. And we could add more. I mean, we're here to sell books, so you guys start. You know, these these bin are the auctions right here. Like especially letter B. You know, if it gets high enough, I mean, I'll throw, start throwing more X Men books on there. The What's vet, up, Steve? I mean, Spock, thanks for coming out, man. Spoke the A spot. I mean, it's a very expensive, like it's it's pretty high selling book. So, I think a fifty dollars start is pretty fair for some peach mamoko action. Yeah, that's dope. Uh, T Pain is bidding fifteen on letter A. Yeah, A fifteen for T Pain. Who doesn't like some peach mamoko? You got all them buy it nows down there. Dollar, two dollar, three dollar, five dollar. Claim and away. And you guys know how it goes, man. We don't mind doing anything. If you want to start bidding on these bottom ones, so let's like, say, for example, the H, anybody goes over five bucks, we'll start adding more. We got plenty of those to throw in. I got plenty of Avengers. Spider Island, unless you want to mix some Spider-Man with it, it's pretty much where it stays. Um, but, yeah, man. You guys want some oldies? We got some oldies we can put up. Like I said, we got more Avengers to throw in. That's a cool book. Yeah, I, I like it. Or if you want to just not beat around the bush, man, just start buying mystery boxes. We'll load you guys up with a full box. <laughs> <laughs> you got anybody else interested in getting in on these two auctions, letter A and letter B? If not, you're going to let T-Pain go off with a steal. Yeah, you're about halfway through. You're at five minutes now, so you're halfway. To Perfect. And you guys know how it goes, man. The more viewers we get, the more fire we're going to bring out. We just can't bring out all the fire with minimum people because then you lose out a lot. I mean, so, we do have like nine people here right now. Yeah. So we're, I'm surprised that we can't read the chat. It's going so fast. <laughs> and if you guys didn't see the teasers, I mean, we're going to throw in some other books soon. You got some flash runs that we're going to be throwing out. So just stay tuned, man. And like we said, every seller's going to have a little bit of time today. So, um, I don't know. Let me see what else I got here, Venom-wise. What um, up, Herbzilla? 
Thanks for coming out. Yeah, maybe you want to swap the bottom ones out for something else up there. Yeah, well, I want to see, see if anybody's it. into that. I had some nice venoms I was going to put up as well. It's just I'm so unorganized on my boxes that I'm not quite sure where it went. I was going to say somebody goes up a little higher. Throw in some other ones. But, yeah, so let's just switch out these bottom ones. So let's do the $5. We'll do one, two, three, four. We got four flashes. We're going to replace these Beyond Wonderland with. So you get Flash 761. You get Flash 758, 759, and 760. Yeah, those so, are cool covers. Yeah, dude. You should know. I got one of them from you. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll switch that one out. Let's go ahead and put the ladies up. We'll wait till later on in the night. It's talking like a dollar and a quarter for each one of them books right there. That's a five dollar <laughs> buy it now. I didn't. That's, uh, that's a steal, man. I'm telling you. And I'm just not going higher because I've been trying to sell them, and you know, might as well give the deals out, man. Hmm. Okay, let's switch out a Superman lot. So we'll take away these three books for a dollar, and I'll give you two books for a dollar. You got Marvel Knights issue number six with some Black Panther in there, and you got Marvel's Knights issue number one. So nice. you can get both of those for a buck in letter E. That's a good deal right there. That's for sure. I'm going to give it – where's my phone at because I lose everything – I'll give it 30 more seconds on letter A. Let me get this timer started. D -d 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 clock. Stopwatch. We're going to start it now. And if anybody goes up at least another two bucks, now we'll throw you in Venom number 26. So you get 28 and 26. This one does have a little blunt corner. Um, and if we can go up three bucks, if we can get it to 18, we'll throw in a fresh copy. Minty Fresh. So that can come in at 18 on the A spot. And if not, T Payne's going to so walk away. So for another $3, you can get that second print right there, which is yeah. less than cover price still. <laughs> it still is. Yes, it is. Cover price is still, well, I guess you get a dollar deal on it. And you know what? I'll actually add two. We'll even throw in 154 at another three bucks. So you guys feel like you're winning something. Well, you got like a minute and a half left on the clock now. And I'm going to give five more seconds on that A, and it's going to be sold to T-Pain. Boom. All right, T-Pain. You got yourself a very nice Momoko for 15 bucks. Congrats. Sweet. And it's minty fresh, too. Things gorgeous. So 15 to T-Pain. Goodbye, man. Um, I think he's saying he wants to go to, to 18. You don't uh, have to type C in, though, because there's no letter. Like, letter C is just a buy it now. Sorry, I was on my stopwatch. So he'll go to 18. All right, man. So you will get yourself two more Venoms. We'll throw that one in there, and we'll throw the Minty Fresh one in there for you of 26. Thank you, man. That's not the minty fresh one. That's the blended corner. This is your minty fresh one. Very nice corners. So there you go, T-Pain. Good steal. All right, so y'all got like 20 more seconds left on the clock if you want to grab any of these buy it nows. Hey, hold on. Before the time is over, for another $50, for $50, I'm going to give you guys a barbarian exclusive of Vampirilla. <laughs> Check that out. Fifty dollars starting bid and five. <laughs> so hold on. Uh, <laughs> that starts. Oh, that's the timer. Oh my god, no one's gonna be able to get that because of the timer's up. <laughs> that's fucked up, man. I love it. I drew What's her that? boobs too far up onto her shoulder. <laughs> that looks like a swole guy. I know. Wait, it's wait a, till you see my it video. Like, it looks like I was, a dude in a leotard. I was doing an unboxing video for you and uh. Uh, issues and <laughs> she's there with me the whole time. You're gonna like it. <laughs> That's too good. All right, thanks, T Pain. Appreciate you. All right, y'all. There you go. So uh we're gonna move over to Parker now and see what Parker's gonna do for us. Okay, okay, okay. 
Don't yell at me. Okay, okay. All right. This is frozen. That's why. Okay. So you guys know we've been in the back VIP room for like forty-five minutes, and Parker's still not ready. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, I'm just going to be a whole slew of buy it now. I'm not going to do any auctions. We'll save that for tomorrow. For Tuesday night auctions. So come by tomorrow, same channel. We're going to have auctions for you. Um, so, yeah, just buy it now. I'm going to throw a fury of them at you. Um, and they're all – I tried to mark as many of them as I can. I'm going to do more as I go, but I'll just say the price, and I'll try to hold it there for whatever you guys get it. You know how this works. All right. Kicking it off with some Captain Marvel. This is uh, number 22. First appearance of Sora, which is uh, Carol's new Kree sister. I feel like I could use a press just looking at it, but yeah. So I'd call this one more like a 9, 4, 9, 6. You need to press that out. But still, these are going for like 10 to 15 bucks. I'll do $8. I have multiple available. I will make sure the first people that buy them get the best copies I have, like, going on. I think I have four. This is probably the worst one. I don't know. I just, yeah, I can see some waves. All right, $8 on that. Then I have 23 the newest issue. I got 10 on that one. This one, I can see a little bit of that as well there, yeah. That's just how new comics fucking are, though. Ugh. The paper they use is so shitty. Well, yeah, you can press all that out if somebody was like wanting to slab that book for some reason. Ten dollars on that one. If you want both, I'll do sixteen. So I'll take two dollars off, basically eight a piece. If you want both, Captain Marvel twenty-two and twenty-three. Um, just claim everything as we go. You can either, I don't know, claim it by the title, whatever's easiest for you guys. Um, yeah, Venom. 10, uh, 26 at 10 bucks. First virus cover, second virus appearance. 10 bucks on that. Venom 26, first print. Uh, and then jumping up, I got a few of these amazing fantasy 15. Uh, reprints. Not the real thing. It's more like twenty grand, not twenty dollars. Uh, it's one of the not resale, so I'm breaking the law here. And that's these ripples are on the bag. It's not the book. I want to like being this under the light. Look, show the thing at an angle. This isn't. Uh, it must be one of the toy biz ones. It came with the action figure. I think that's usually the. They say that with that. 20 bucks. I have another one that says not for resale. Must have come with a different action figure, or I don't even know. It's not the one with the newsprint uh, title here that they're putting in newspapers. So I think this was also from an action figure or something. Yeah. No, this is the uh, came with Spider Man 1 on DVD. You bought the collector's edition. One of these came with that box set. Yeah. The big one? What? One? It came with the big one? Yeah, it came with that big box. Yeah, that's the one I have, the one you just showed. Yeah. That's the one I have hanging on my wall anyway. Yeah, that one right there. Yeah. 20 bucks as well on that, and I got the Marvel Milestone Edition with that gray border. The big one. $20. All those are in that, like, lower near mint range, the 9-0s. You could press some of the, you know, they're just really thin. They all have those, like, up with one, one or two non-color breaking ticks. This one had a few that do break color. Four of them. So it's still in a near mint minus. Very plus. Very very plus fine. Very fine plus. Very plus good. <laughs> it's very okay. Um, so 20 bucks on those if you're interested. I'm basically just taking my Instagram inventory and putting it up at the price I have on there. Going a little bit cheaper. So nothing crazy tonight. There's not enough viewers to throw things out for a dollar or super cheap. Um, plus, I'm saving the auctions for tomorrow. This is just buy it now shit. Uh, crossover number one. This is the secret variant. 
Ooh, shh, it's a secret. I'm asking forty. Asking forty-five. What's going on, John? Thanks for coming out, man. Crossed over one. Secret variant, forty-five dollars. Uh, I'll do the same price on this one, even. Um, yeah, I have it. it says forty-five. It says fifty. I'll do forty-five. I tried fifty last week. Um, John it's Wick a tough number book one. To find right there. It, these are all very the whole all of all the covers are hard to find. This is the yeah. hardest one because everyone was like, it was probably the least pre-ordered but the most sought after. It's like cover D or cover E, photo cover, Keanu on it, Seventh Wonder of the World. Or I love Keanu. John Wick, number one. It's near mint. I could, you know, I don't know. I don't know why I bother even saying it every time. I could probably guarantee he a 9.6 at least. You could probably. There's one tick that doesn't break color. So you could get, if you can press that out, probably 9.8. I don't see why not. But again, just depends what that grader had for lunch that day. He might. He might give you a nine nine. He might give you a nine zero. I I've seen all, all kinds of things from CDC. But if you get created with PGX or one of those other companies, oh, it's e a ten four all day. Yeah, is there one of those other, that new one? The E, I think it's EGS. They were giving out tens and nine nines. What are you guys doing? Uh, Avengers ninety six fifty bucks. You get the origin of Venom. Venom Vision. Behold the Venom. Behold the Vision. <laughs> Uh, this one's in very fine minus. It's a firm find, very fine. Regular price is 60, so I'm giving you a little discount. Um, oh, let's see where we're at here. This is the origin of Vision. And with uh, WandaVision coming out, this is kind of a hype book. You got three and a half minutes can... left. Oh, cool. Good. I got like an hour worth of books here. That was the I got plan. No problem. <laughs> I got plenty to sell, guys. Plenty to sell. You can get the vision number one. Uh, fifty and fifty. Yeah, it's a hundred dollars, I guess. No. Um, first print near mint. First viv vision. First viz vision. I don't know. There's all there. It's all their first appearances. They only really care about the girl. I think she maybe joined Young Avengers at some point. But this is one of the better Tom King series. Is this and I like Mr. Miracle. I don't care for his Batman. Um, I think he writes a good spy novel, though, or something. $50 if you want that. That book's just going up on eBay. You didn't know why you still can. We got no action. That's a, um, Throw this out. X-Men number five, $100. But it is a fair to good copy. Just because all this nonsense going down here. It's not that bad, but it's not good. And that's then, what happens well, when you read comics when you're eating Cheetos. That's not like your You lick your fingers, and then you take the ink off. Uh, there's a little flap here. It's still connected. It's still down, but seeing it up close, it's annoying. From afar, you barely tell. That's $100. All right. FF number one, Africa Comic Con, near mint, ten dollars. Ten bucks. FF homage, Deadpool homage to FF one. Dang, I forgot. That's really why good. there's nobody in here because we don't have the sweet soothing tunes. Need the music, yeah. Uh, Thanos, eighteen, first print, the Venom anniversary variant, homage to that. Now the bids uh, are gonna start flowing like rain. I think it was a one shot in the 90s. Some Hulk first Venom or Hulk, whatever. $10 on that one. 10 bucks. Um, these books are all $10. These next ones, probably up until my time runs out. Suicide Squad, <laughs> Suicide Squad number one. This is a signed copy, one of 3,000. Dynamic Forces sign variant, 10, 10 bucks. This little sticker is on the bag, not the comic. The book is fine. 
10 bucks for that. Ten dollars for Suicide Squad. Matching ten dollars on this punchline. Ten bucks near mint. Art germ. Art germ punchline. Venom. Beyond number two, just a dope Venom cover. Ten dollars. There's the timer. And ten dollars. Whipping edge number one, ten bucks. All right, so if anybody wants to grab any of them books, just let Parker know, and he can make that happen for you. Ten bucks. And let's see. Okay, so mine's going to be really simple. All these books are $2 as normal. Um, if you, I'm going to put them up there and leave them up there for a couple seconds, and if nobody claims them, I'm going to swap them out. Easy enough, right? Um, you can claim the whole table of what all is there as long as no one's already claimed it, and it'll still be $14. But if somebody claims something and then you claim the whole table, I, I don't know how that will work out because it's different. But let's see. Y'all. So uh, two bucks each. Start out with some X23. We got number 19. These are all near mint, too, by the way. X23, number 19. Uh, wait, I gotta start the timer. I got X23 number 20. Got some Vampire Jubilee on the cover. She looks scary. Uh, we got number 18. X20. These are all my doubles, in case anybody's wondering. I'm not going crazy and selling all my X23 books. That <laughs> would just be <laughs> number 17. We got a nice homage to uh, Don't Tell Mom the Babysitter's Dead. Wait, that's not right, is it? Adventures in Babysitting. Adventures in Babysitting. Yeah, that's it. And this book is not, it's its its near mint, but it's got like a little bit of a spine roll right there. You have to press out. If you were like somebody that wants every one of your books to be slab worthy, you'd want to press that. Uh, next up, this is X23 number 7. You notice a trend here. They're all going down in price. And you can claim these as I go, just so you know. Like, number 6. Number four, it's a cool cover. And last but not least is number two. So if anybody's interested in them, throw it in the chat, $2 book. I'll give you a couple seconds and uh, go from there. Two dollars. Two dollar for the two dollar book. You can get it by claiming. Claim it a little. Oh, wait. You can see my light underneath here. That's no good. Should I turn it on? I'm really blind, everybody? Bangers. Let me move this out of the way. I would hate to obstruct even the tiniest amount. T Pain's taking letter H and letter F. Let's see here. I didn't expect anybody to get any of them, so I don't have a marker ready. T Pain. Letter H, letter F. Don't forget, anybody that buys from anybody gets put on the wheel at the end of the show to win something for free. Collar rhymes with dollar. Um, Holler. Waller, like if I was going to waller in some mud. Like pigs like to waller in the mud. <laughs> uh there's holler like when you holler at somebody, and then there's when you live down in the holler amongst all holler. the your kinfolk. 
Smaller. Baller. Yeah, I could use a baller and you dollar hauler. All right, I'm going to take these down. Nobody wants to know more. It's 23. I should just throw them all up on top of each other, but fuck it right. Set these over here. Next up is a bunch of Ghost Rider books. We got, uh, this is Marvel Knights Ghost Rider number five. Number four. Number three. And number two, in the E spot, we got Heroes for Hire number two. We got Ghost Rider, totally freaking teabag in Silver Surfer, or Silver Sable. Not Silver Surfer, that would never happen. And we got a couple of Venom books. This is Ultimate Spider Man 123. And 128. I gotta remember to look and see if I'm actually showing them or not. And then 125, that's a dope cover right there. These are all near mint, too, by the way. In case I hadn't mentioned that like 100,000 times. $2 each. So let me know if you want any of them. That's right. $2 will make you walla in the mud. And then holla for someone to grab you by the collar and pull you out of the holla. Make it do for two. We're halfway there, guys. It's almost down to five minutes. So... I only have to do this twice, two more times, maybe. Squala, I'm not put you in squala. <laughs> All right, so T Pain's taking A through C. And D. I was wondering if he's just going to get all four of them. I wish I had number one for you, man, and I wish I had number six for you. So then you could have the whole run, but unfortunately, these are my triples. But I will have this whole run up for sale in the auction tomorrow, if anybody's interested. I'll give that a couple more seconds, see if anybody wants some, uh, some Ultimate Spider-Man action. Most of this shit's not in order like that. Those just happen to be the ones I put in there today. So most of the rest of this stuff is just going to be a random as hell. All right, let's move on. Take these down. And put up, uh, first up we got, this is Flashback X-Men number one. Cool Magneto cover. Uh, this is not near mint. This is probably fine, very fine. For the press, it would definitely be very fine, but it's a little bit older, you know. Uh, this is uh, Silver Surfer 51. It's part of the Infinity Gauntlet crossover. Also got number 40. Same condition here. It's, it could use a good press for the, that fine, very fine range. Uh, next up, we got uh, X-Men 234. This is not in bad shape. You can see by the spine, there's not a bunch of spine ticks on it, but it does have a little water damage on it. So that's why it's in the $2 round. Uh, we got damage control number one. I know y'all want some damage control. Everyone needs a little damage control in their life. We got Deathlock number three, Deathlock versus Doom. We got ROM number 10. Nice mid grade copy of that. You're collecting ROM. Let me find a Marvel book to put up there with them, because that would just be silly. Uh, and then we got a House of M, The Days After. One shot. Nice, clean copy. Give me a minute of that. If anybody's into those, two bucks each. Just throw it. Literally, throw your, your claim at the chat as hard as you can. With as much force as your little fingers will let you. Yo, Bob World, what's up, man? Thanks for coming out, guy. I hope you're doing good today. So Cyborg Dad is going to pick up B and C. He's getting the BC. What? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, I like that book too. B and C. Homage. A homage? 
I would call it. I would call it neither. I would just say it's a uh, similar cover. It's not really an homage. No. And there's a person. Maybe it's a throwback. Yeah. No like way. my slippers. Oh, I see. I tried to adjust the camera where you wouldn't see my feet, but then I went and bumped it. I didn't need a bunch of comments on my awesome footwear. I think they look comfy they and warm. They're so comfy and warm, dog. <laughs> you don't even know. <laughs> like, I've been wearing like uncomfortable shoes for four days straight. These are nice. Got some Dr. Scholl's insoles in there, man. Boy, I'll tell you what. That's why I, I sound so buttery smooth right now. All right, let's go do another one real quick. Yeah, what, you want to go what, uh, oh, these were $2? Two dollars. Two dollars. What number is E? Is that number one or a different number? E was damage control number one. Hmm. Why, you want it? Put, can I let you know after the show if I need it? I have to go check. Of course out. you can. Okay, it's going to cool. go right here in the pile of shame. Okay, okay. last round we got uh, Superman 19, newsstand copy. Freaking newsstand copy for Maybe. two bucks. Why did I put that in there? That was not supposed that. to be in the two dollars. I'm an idiot. We got a uh, Superman 204. It's a nice Jim Lee cover. We got Superman 203. Michael Turner. Boy. Uh, this is Superior Iron Man number one. This is the first time you see that Superior Iron Man outfit that he's wearing. For good reason, hopefully. Uh, we got Fantastic Four 236. Part of the Civil War. Uh, Road to Civil War. This is a dope Punisher cover. We got the Initiative Punisher War Journal number seven. Whoa, that was my time. Well, there, I'll leave it at that. If anybody wants any of those, just throw it in the chat and we can move on. I'll just read it from the chat. Does that make sense? Yeah, leave it up another like 10 seconds. So. Okay, so there. Well, you want to cut into my whole No, you'll still minutes? get 10 minutes because the timer just doesn't auto automatically reset. I'm just. You want me to give I'm you 15 minutes? No, hell Are you sure? <laughs> I'm positive. Yeah, that 204 cover is pretty cool. I guess there's a Batman cover that matches up where it makes them look like they're facing each other. I guess. You give me 15 minutes, I'll put this ladybug I just found in here on camera for 15 minutes. Oh, that'd be dope. That'd be very soothing. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and move on. Nobody wants any of these books, so uh, let's get on over here to Gamers and see what he's got for us. Oh, my camera didn't change too much. Okay. Let's see if we can bring it down just a little bit. All right. So same thing again, guys. You got your auctions and your buy it nows. So let's start with these auctions. You got the whole set of Robin, issue number one of five, two of five, three of five, four of five, and five of five. And then you get Robin, issue number 29. 30 and 31 and we're going to start that off at five bucks you get what is that eight books one two three four five eight books for five bucks and then on the b spot we're going to start off at five dollars as well you get mary jane issue number one you get the spectacular spider-man 13 14 24 27 then you get marvel knight spider-man 16 17 then we jump to the Sensational Spider-Man. You get issue number seven, number nine. Hey, then Peter Parker. A a yeah, turn, turn it up a little more. Then you get Peter Parker, Spider-Man 47. <laughs> and spider Get and Spider-Girls, issue number two. So you get 11 books starting bid at five bucks. So that's in the B spot. In the C spot, you get Year of the Villain, Hell Raisin. You get number four. And another nice little cover for it, but that's for a buck. So for a dollar, you get two books. Turn it down a wee bit. Why do I have an E and not a D? I don't have a D either. I have. Well, a... I just I just realized I skipped. Whatever, it doesn't matter, right? It doesn't. I have matter. an upside down D. <laughs> so you get Iron Fist issue number one, Typhoid Fever, and you get the Iron Fist, the Living Weapon issue number zero eleven. So eleven and number one for another dollar on the E spot. In the F spot, you gotta get that Venom with a little bit of a blunt corner, but for two bucks, it's number 26. We're gonna try the Splash again for $3. You get 761. 
758, 59, and 760. So really it should be this way. You get 58, 59, 60, and 61 for three bucks. You get the whole set. And in the H spot, for five bucks, you get 2099 unlimited. Some Hulk action with some Spidey. Issue number one. You get Darkest Hours, the Superior Spider-Man, issue number 24, Spider-Man Velocity, the Game Burst one, issue number two, and you get the Amazing Spider-Man 32. Nice. So you get one, two, three, you get four books for five bucks, and that's in the H spot. There you go. All right, y'all, you know what to do. Claim some books, claim by the letter. Or make a bid on them two top books. Let him know if you're interested in any of these. If any of y'all in the chat are, are interested in them, you know, go ahead and throw down your claim or bid. If you're not, man, just say pass so he knows to put something else up. That way he can show you more stuff that you might want. You're it's not going to hurt his feelings. You might no. hurt my feelings, but, like, I'm, I'm emotionless at this point. Yes. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Man, I'm jamming over here. I'm feeling the blues tonight, people. All right. I guess we'll mix it up a little bit. Let's take Robin off since nobody likes Robin. Boo you, Robin. All right. What am I going to start this one at? Alright, so we're going to go a little higher on this one. You guys might not like it, but you're going to get some sweet books for it. Pretty much you're going to get two books for free out of this one. So, you're going to get Venom, issue number one. You're going to get Venom 25. That's cool. 27. And 28. And I'll go start a bit of 20 bucks for this. That's the price of two of these books. The rest of them you're technically getting for free if no one else bids. And you get it for 20 bucks. Yeah, that's a good deal, man. Twenty dollars starting bid. You yeah. got a nice clean copy of Venom One. She. Oh, yeah. she. Now, if you guys start showing us that you're gonna spend some money tonight, we'll start bringing out some nice lots. We'll do some builders, yeah. but you know these will have to, you know, yeah. these will sit aside for now. Back to back. Because we're here for you guys. Just let us know if you want fillers. Do you want, you know, some keys? But you guys know how it goes, man. Money talks. All right, let's switch out these for a dollar, the Hell Risen. And let's do the new Avengers 42. I'll throw that up for a dollar. And that's a nice one. If you have the old one, which I do, so I really shouldn't even sell it because this goes with the uh, older copy. Yeah. Um, but for a buck, you can't beat that. All and I have any scrolls. Yeah, and I haven't even looked these up, so... All the books I'm putting up is because we're pretty much just doing something different today, so we pretty much have no option but to throw books up. Here's Venom. We're going to take that off, and let's give you a Justice League. You have Justice League 15. Very nice copy. You have Justice League Dark 25. And screw it, man. You can even have Justice League number one, No Justice. So for two bucks, you get three books, man. And each one of those covers are like five bucks, except for this one. This one's probably a dollar or two. The other two are definitely at least five dollar covers. What do you say, y'all? Anybody in the chat? Anybody still there? Let us know if you want to get any of these books or you want to pass on any of them. If you want to get on off. anything on the top row? Throw it down there. Let us know. We don't know if you don't say anything. Nope. So we're gonna take off the Spider Man since no one's feeling Spider Man at the moment. T Pain is claiming letter C. Ooh, that's a good one, man. For a buck. Yeah, Thank for you, a buck, that's a good deal. Oh, yeah. You got Captain Marvel 21, and you get the other version of 21, the other variant. Oh, and that's let's do prison. Both of those for five bucks. Just taking people. You got to empty Oof. out these houses. So it's going to be crazy deals today. That's a good That's a good lot right there. Two bucks, oh, yeah. five bucks. Shit. We are definitely going to make this the blowout. So T Pain coming in with the. For what dollar? There we go. Add that to your stack. Man, he's buying all the good books tonight. I'm going to have to claim they got lost in the USPS, huh? 
<laughs> this is what glitch is pain. All right, let's take out Iron Fist since nobody's digging Iron Fist. And let's do the Stanley Memorial ones. So we got this one. We got a very nice Iron Man. It's like he's getting eaten up by the mask. And you have a nice Black Panther. All right. And you know what? I'm sorry. Let's switch these over because I can't do all three of these for a dollar. We'll put them on the $2 spot. He's got to make two bucks, man. Two bucks at least. We'll take off Flash since Flash is not doing it today. We'll even take off his Justice League. Here you go. Let's bring out some beautiful covers. So let's do Batman, the Joker Warzone, number one. And I'll even give you... Mo oh. is wanting to know what is on letter A. Letter A. Starting and you don't bid. have the starting bid up there either. Uh, yeah, I didn't. I didn't here, let me write one on there. Sorry about that. So that's going to be $20 starting bid. Let's put that on there. So in A, you got Venom number one. You have Venom 28. Venom 27 and Venom 25. So you get some sick Venom covers. And like I said, only two of these are worth 20 bucks, $10 a piece. The rest of them, you're pretty much getting for free. So you're getting two free books if you're the only bidder on 20. Yeah, and A and B are both auctions, just so you know, Mo. Yeah. They're not right. buy it now claims. The bottom row is all claims, the top row is auction stuff. So since we added Batman, which one is that? The Joker Wars are number one. Let's do some Dark Knight Returns, The Last Crusade with some nice Joker, and I'll throw that with that one. So you're getting two books for three bucks. Very nice covers. Let's add some dollar books in here. What do I want to give you guys for a dollar? I'm going to give you some Batgirl Defeated. Dark Knight number 63. We'll throw it in there for a buck. You get two books for a dollar. Let's do Batman, The Menace of Magpie, 79. And let's do the Penguin Showcase 94 for a buck. So you get two books for a buck. Am I the only one I thought that Donnie DeVito was like the best person to play? Uh, T-Pain is claiming letter G. Ooh, G spot. There you go. Very nice pickup, man. Gorgeous covers. This one alone right here is worth more than three bucks. So that's a steal. So let's do T-Pain again. Three bucks. You got it, sir. Yeah, he was. Danny DeVito did do a really good penguin. <laughs> and in a way, I meant that like almost insulting because he like fitted so well. So <laughs> <I'm> like, <laughs> uh, what spot do I got open? Three dollars spot left. Let's do. I don't want to sell all of those. Yeah, people. you got like thirty seconds to go. Okay, then let's just do this right here. You got Batman sixty-seven, very nice black and white cover, and you get. The Batman's Grave number two for three bucks. You get both of those. All right, y'all. If anybody wants to jump on these books, do it now. The timer's just about up. Should I be like issues and be like, fuck you? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Steve Bain. That's it. That's the timer. So, yeah, if anybody still wants to grab any of these, just throw it down in the chat. Let him know that you want to get that letter. Um, looks like there was no bidders on either one of the, the auctions. So those are not sold. And we'll move on over to Parker now. Woo! Actually in my spot. Oh, Parker. Oh, Your oh, bun oh. drives me crazy. All right. Got a good little lot of books here for you guys. Ooh, All right, uh, where we left off, same thing. I'm just going to put up a whole slew of books. Um, just I'm going to have some of them priced, or I'll just try to hold it up as long as possible for people coming in late. Otherwise, if you catch us on the rewind, the rewind, the rewind, I'm sure none of this will have sold. I'll still have it available. All right. Um, all new Wolverine 31, the Hulk variant. Homaging, homaging Hulk 181. Price drop, $9. Take a dollar off. That's $9. I got $9. 
on weapon H number one. Uh, Kubert variant or Kubert? Adam, I believe. Adam. And it is an homage to one of the Marvel Comics Presents. Uh, I don't know the exact number. It's in the 70s. The Weapon X ones. Uh, it even says after BWS, Barry Windsor Smith. A couple little homages there. Those are nine apiece. First print, number one, near mint. Doctor Strange number one, number one, Sorcerer Surgeon Supreme. Doctor Strange Surgeon Supreme number one. This is the secret variant where his hands are inverted and the font is green instead of like brown or whatever. Damn. Eight dollars. Right, Eight dollars on that near mint condition. Eight dollars, really good run. Issue 2 has a Strange Academy preview in it. I recommend you guys get Mini 1 and 2 if you can. Great book. Moving on, I got Marvel 2 and 1, number 8. Ghost Rider and the thing. Barbarian, I feel like the music is just a slightly a little bit too loud. I mean, one, one notch down. Five bucks. But if no one's buying anything, I'd rather listen to music, so I mean, fuck, keep it up. Uh, the Death of Scourge the Executioner. Scourge. Scourge. He, he was the best part of uh, Ragnarok. Yeah. <laughs> he was really good. This is Dez and Troy. Together. <laughs> uh, six bucks on that. Six dollars. I also got six bucks on... FF232, that's your uh, start of the John Byrne run. If you want to feel some burn, figuratively and literally and whatnot. Diablo burning action. High grade. Burn. I, don't, I don't even want to tell you the grade because it's actually like near mint and I don't want to sell it this cheap. So it's nice. It's nice condition. $6. Iron Man 169. This is where Rhodey puts on the Iron Man costume for the first time. Costume? Armor. Call it armor. Rhodey puts on the armor for the first time. Not the first War Machine. First Rhodey as Iron Man. Six dollars. High grade. And that has still never happened in the movies. So it could happen. What's Kiwi the actor's name? Paul Rubin. Paul Rubin? He said he was... Yeah, he was a good choice as the, the dad of things. He was a, the perfect choice as the spleen in uh, Mystery Men. <laughs> I fucking love Mystery Men. Uh, Superior Spider-Man number two. This here, if you didn't know, is the first cosmic Superior Spider-Man. Well, I'll be... Here. Five bucks, yeah. Minor key if you like whatever, Doc Ock, Superior Spider-Man. I couldn't get... It's, it's actually... The ones I've read are really good. I just couldn't accept him as Spider-Man, so I just, it's hard to get into this run. And this is the, I think, second Superior... Yeah, second volume yeah. two of Superior Spider-Man. Volume two, yeah. I will clarify that. Five bucks for that. Um, We got Jessica Jones here. Number one, David Mack cover. Eight dollars. That book right to... there, that run is on my stack to read. Like yeah. I keep trying to get it into the stack that I'm actually taking to read, but it's like I have a stack of stuff that I have to read soon. And it's yeah. in there. Um, I'll even do I'll do seven fifty on this. It's not a big price drop, but that's what I was gonna post it for on IG. I don't know why there's an eight dollar sticker on it. There you go, y'all. Get that fifty cent discount. Hey, on Fridays, fifty cents goes a long way. We do our penny auctions and you can buy a lot of books for fifty cents. Oh god, yeah. It's amazing. Ninja Turtles forty eight. I think it's the first 
I don't know, like Smoke, whatever this guy. I don't even know. I'm not thinking of Mortal Kombat, but I don't remember his name. But it's like some robot turtle. Kind of an homage to the EC. Yeah, look at that. That's neat. I've never yeah, seen 10 that bucks before. on that. Somebody buy that. Why would it you has, not buy that? That's an awesome book. It has one. I don't think the color really breaks. Maybe just barely, but one little tick. It's not even a big tick. Really, like tiny, tiny. Let me see it again. Two millimeter. Uh, Ninja Turtles, forty-eight. It's got a little tick somewhere on there on the lower spine. So that's still caught. Throw it in my box. Still man. near mint. It's like a nine-six. Right. Throw it in my box. Press it out. Do I have to write it in the Push chat? Your box. If you okay. would, please, yes. Spin, yes, yeah, spin turtles. But we might as well play by the rules. Might as well make it official. Because someone else might want it and beat you to it. That's <laughs> exactly <laughs> why you write it in the chat. <laughs> now it's official. Uh, Avengers 675. This is like the premier variant. I think it was like one per store exclusive retailer thing. The premier variant. Uh, 10 bucks. Near Mint. High grade. I don't see any chicks. Nothing wrong with it at all. A near Mint Plus. Hey, Mark we're down. almost up to 20 people. Thanks for everybody coming out and watching. Mark down from the 20 that I blew on it when it came out. Half off. You got, you got just under three minutes left, just so you know. Y'all let us Thank know you. if there's anything in particular you're looking for. Uh, Logan's runs slow Thanos. It's like a three-page Thanos story. Uh, this book is very, like, sun-faded, it looks. So I, I call it lower grade. Um, good condition. It's not it's not high grid in this book. It's a grid. It's a really good price. It's still complete. It's all there. If you didn't know better, you wouldn't have even known. But it's a little, a little fade to it. Ten bucks on that. Uh, I'm gonna sell this next round. I just need to double check the price and see if it's even worth letting go. So if, you, if you're interested in this, don't mind that 25 on it. It'll probably be about 20 bucks, but I'm going to check check prices first. So don't claim this yet, but it'll be available next round. I know there's two Marvel Tales. There's a red there's a red. Yeah, the red black. one's worth more than that one, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I might have it wrong, and it might, might even be like 15. But yeah, because the I think the red one is actually a reprint of 129. If I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong, though. I think they both are, but the red one came first. So I think the red one is worth it. Yeah. Okay. Um, amazing. 345. This is, I believe, where the symbiote infects Cletus. Cletus. Cletus Cassidy. And there will be carnage. Soon. A couple issues later. But right now, it's in Boomerang. And there, Clark. I don't know what I thought. 25 bucks for a, let's call it very fine plus. Near mint minus. Um, amazing 345. Venom costume infects Cletus Cassidy. Except I gotta make some money. So it's 25, not 20. Venom up there. Even says, miss me? Oh, you got a cover appearance of Venom. Look at that. You could press the. The only reason I'm not calling it like a high near mint nine six nine eight uh, is because you could press the spine down. There's the slightest bit of a roll up, but you could probably just stack some fucking books on it and it'll press it out. I mean, it's not that bad at all. It still lays pretty flat. So, twenty five if you're into that. You got twenty seconds left. Uh, I got all right. We're up by night nine. First Tatter Demalion, something like that. Twenty five. It's in fine, very fine. And then Werewolf by Night, the last two issues. Get a lot of Kirby crackle here. It's, uh, this one's just slightly lower grade, but it's the last issue. It's slightly more of a key. Um, 25 on that one, I'd call it fine condition. The other one is like very fine, very fine plus. Maybe a little better. So 30 on that. If you want both, I can do 50 for the pair. There you go, y'all. If anybody wants to jump on any of them books, just throw it down in the chat right now. Let Parker know, hey, throw them in my box. 
And we're going to jump back over here to me. Uh, so there's another, you know, $2. I'm just going to throw them up there and let them sit for a bit. So just claim whatever letter you want for two bucks if you want any of them. And if not, I'll replace them as fast as I can. We got flash number, it says number 63. That's the B cover. We got, this is some rebirth flash 22. And these are all near mint also, by the way, just like all the rest of this stuff. This is uh, from uh, new, wait, that was rebirth. This is new 52. Yeah, number six flash Number six. And then this foily shiny gold flash number 80. So there's your flash fix. You got a couple green lanterns. You got number 57. Uh, I didn't write anything on the back of that, so it must not be a key or anything. And number 55. Two bucks. Both those near mint. Uh, we got uh, Batman and Robin. This is one of the lenticular covers. And do I have any other DC books? Since these are all DC stuff, it only really makes sense to throw up another DC book, right? How about some Dark Stars? Number one. First near appearance. Mint. First appearance. Their first appearance. And, uh, two books. Let me know if anybody's interested in any of these books. If you are, just throw it down in the chat. Two dollars a book. Thank you very much. Hey, you got one going once. Go to a good place. Gotta learn to talk to this fast like that. It'll be awesome. You know, it's all in the jowls. The jowls. You just have to. You just have to articulate your jowls. Y'all in the chat, if you don't want any of this stuff, just say pass. Like, seriously. Because I'm going to let it sit there for like 30 seconds. If nobody wants it, that's 30 seconds more of other books I could put up that you might actually want. And you ain't going to hurt my feelings. I pass on stuff all the time. <laughs> I passed on dinner today. I didn't pass on the beer store because I, I do got some of that. But, uh, I, okay, so T Pain saying pass. Since he's about the only one buying anything, I'm gonna go ahead and put out some stuff. Get rid of all this DC madness over here, and we'll move on over to some more Marvel. Make mine Marvel. We got uh, Thunderbolts number two. Dope ass Tedeschi. Isn't that isn't that isn't that what the TT is? Tedeschi. Tedes there you go. Number two, you got this nice Venom cover, some Red Hulk. We got uh, Avengers 33. This is the zombie variant. This is a cool Dormammu cover for Defenders. Number three of five. Got Dormammu holding the world I like in, that. His, in his hands. I got a couple of New Mutants books. So this is New Mutants number four from like the I guess the you know the, like the current run. And number three. So if you're a New Mutants fan, maybe you need those in your run. Uh, these are all matching books. Uh, the three of them, oh, there is three of them. Okay, so here's a Wolverine Hulk number four. Some Sam Keith in the D spot and the G spot and the H spot. And this is number two. And last but not least, number three. Fortunately, I don't have number one. If I had number one, I would be selling it as a run. So, whatever. Two dollars each. Just let me know if anybody wants to grab any of these. If you don't have any money, La Cruces, that's fine. You can you can pay uh, traveler's checks. You can pay IOUs. You can pay blood of infants. Uh, blood of you can make a I blood oath. Oh, T Pain's taking A and C. Ah, oh my God. He got the two dope covers. Dope man, dope man. Get out of there, you. 
Any other takers? Anybody else want any of these books? Just drop it in the chat real quick. Let me know. Yeah, you can make a blood oath to me. You and if uh, if you break your blood oath, then you'll owe me your firstborn, which I don't yeah, need no more kids, man. So just second thought. Let's not do that. All right, so I'm gonna take these down. Let me look at my timer again. Yeah, I'll take these down real quick since so nobody is interested in any of those. So, I like that. Like I'm not even paying. I'm only half paying attention. I'm just here to support. <laughs> so uh, we got A versus P. This is Xeno Genesis number two of four, number three of four. And number four of four. This one needs to press. It's got a little bit of a dinger. Like it doesn't break color or anything, but there's just like a little. That's hard to tell. There's a little bump down there at the bottom. Uh, so if you like aliens and predator, there you go. We got predator versus uh, Magnus robot fighter number two. It's also a very nice, clean copy. A um, couple indie books here: Frankenstein Undone number one, Mike Mignola cover. We ass Mike Mignola art. We got Outpost Zero, number one. These are all near mint, man. All crispy clean. After Realm, number one, from Image. And we'll say this uh, Codename Strike Force, number one. There you go. Two bucks each. Okay. Any takers? I want my doodle. Plus tip. Any takers? Anybody want any of these? You can say pass. Like, seriously, just say pass if nobody wants them. It's all good. Nobody wants any of this stuff. I'm going to move on. <laughs> okay, you're let's see. Need, you're going to need a new one. I still got two and a half minutes left. Here's some more. Here's Night Force number one in DC. And we got Green Arrow number one from the Rebirth. Green Arrow run. Got Madam Xanadu number one. From Vertigo. What, what? We got Hawkman. This is the Shadow of War number one. This is from like, you know, like the 80s. And it's still near mint. That's just nice fuck, y'all. One that, that's two bucks. Oh, we got some X-Men books here. We got X-Men. This is uh, this is uh, the Jim Lee, uh, you know, like the Marvel Classics cards that they did. The, the Yeah, it's the book from that. Get underneath there, you little. And then we got Uncanny X-Men 419. And Uncanny X Men number 398. Do I have any other Uncanny X Men? That would just make too much sense if I put them all together. How about Astonishing X Men number one? It's gotta be worth at least two bucks. It's gotta be, man. It's just gotta be. Alright, two dollars each. Anybody wants any? Just throw it down. Drop it in the chat. Drop it like your money maker. Shake your rump shaker. Or say, get that crusty shit out of here. I ain't got no time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. That milkshake ain't bringing nobody to the yard. Look, even Spider-Man, who is almost completely zombified, is reaching for the books like, help me get that book. Oh, I want that book. Batmobile, save me. Any takers? Anybody? Any? Is anybody alive? Is anybody out there? Hello? Is there anybody in there? 
Just cast if you can hear me. <laughs> That's all right. We got 10 seconds left. I'm taking these out. I know people just tune in to hear my buttery voice. We do love your voice. I think that they do. I think it puts them to sleep. It's so buttery smooth. <laughs> That's the timer, so you all know what that means. No more for me. Next up, though, we got gamers, and gamers is going to wow and amaze you. Yes, we're going to try to wow and amaze you. So we're going to try to do another $20 starting bid on this A-spot auction. You got Batman 98. You got a super nice Batman Superman number one. You got a Batman 93. You have a Batman 55. You have a Batman 59 with a nice little penguin there, Bane, Batman. You get a Batman 95, a Dark Knight's Death Metal number three, super sexy cover. And then the other two you saw before, Batman 67, and you get Batman in the Grave number two. So you get all those books for $20 starting bid. In the B spot, we got an $8 starting bid. You get Secret Avengers issue number 30. You get Dark Ring, All New Avengers 49. You get the Heroic Age, The New Avengers number 5. Earth's Mightiest Heroes, Avengers 8. Earth's Mightiest Heroes, Avengers 28. And The New Avengers 13. So $8 starting bid on all those sweet Avengers books. In the C spot, you get the Absolute Carnage, Scream number 2 for a book. In the E spot, you get Marvel Knight 16 and Marvel Knight 17 for a buck. Both books. Put it down for the book. In the F spot, you get Spectacular Spider-Man 24, 27, 13, and 14. For two bucks, you get four books. In the G spot, you get Spider-Man with a nice little pretty sure that's that Spider Gwen. For number 14, you get the Amazing Mary Jane number one, the Amazing Spider-Man 22, and the Amazing Spider-Man 6. So you get four nice books for three bucks. And in the H spot, let's get you some books that you won't be able to afford. You get True Believers, The Amazing Spider-Man, number one. And you know these things are going to go up. So there you go. You get the number six one. And I believe these are just the little card things. I don't think they're the actual books. And this is number four. So all three of those for five bucks. That oh. little thin thing was a giveaway in a newspaper. I think the New York Times did a whole series of them. Oh, well, there you go. You got two of them. That True Believers alone will blow up eventually. So for $5. Um, it looks like T-Pain is taking letter C and letter G. Ooh, C and G. Thank you, T-Pain. Yeah, uh, um, Looks like uh, Mo is doing a twenty dollars starting bid on the Batman. Ooh. Oh wait, no, so, I mean, he might be answering Starscream. Oh, okay. I was gonna say, man, that's a killer lot for twenty bucks. I mean, people love this cover. I don't know. Now he's giving the thumbs up, so I don't know if that's to me or to somebody <laughs> else. It might have been to Starscream. Yeah. So yeah, okay. if you want to bid on that Mo, just put a letter A twenty. So T Pain. One dollar for the screen, and this was three dollars for these nice Spider Man books. I forgot to start the timer, so you're ready to go. <laughs> oh, thanks, man. <laughs> thanks for the extra five minutes. I appreciate it. That's all good. I'm laid back. All right, so we got those on the side. Let's go ahead and add some dollar books here. Why don't we? All right. What are we going to sell you guys for a dollar? One dollar. That's not too much money. I need four bucks for two dollars. <laughs> I need four bucks. I need four bucks for two dollars. Here, why don't you take Quantum Woody, number one, and number two for a book. There you go. Shit, that's a bargain. We'll give you Black Wolf. Yeah, Omega I got Man. you, Mo. I figured it out. I just hadn't read the whole thing because I was being really lazy. Forever People, a nice little switcheroo. You get Princess Leia Star Wars. This will be a random one. You get Blade number four. And let's try to see if we can't find you one more. What up, Jay Blitz? Why don't you take Infinity Gauntlet as well, number two. So you get one, two, three, four, five, 
and six books for three bucks in the G spot. Hey, let's Dang. put Leia. let's put Leia in the G spot. Why don't we though? Yeah, you need to have Leia on top in the G spot. Yes, sir. Um, let's switch off these Spider-Man books since nobody wants them for a book, and let's give you. How about some X-Men? Let's do. We'll do two on no, for a dollar. Let's do these. I'll give you the new X-Men 156. And we'll do the strangest teens of all. X-Men. I believe that's Golden Years or something like that. Number six. Is she wearing anything but hair? Um, I don't think so. Oh, she May, has maybe, some yeah, yeah. She's she's covering herself up a little bit. So two books for a buck. That's Storm. She's a nasty girl. She's a dirty girl. Dirty, dirty girl. Here, let's make it interesting. On the G spot, we'll even throw this Generation X nice little shiny cover for three bucks. Well, that G spot is three dollars for all them books, y'all. So yes, you know, if sir. you really like it, you know, you can spend three bucks on like a hundred books. I think he has stacked in there. <laughs> oh, I have something nice coming up for them soon. Oh, you know what? Should we just throw it up now? Let's see how many are in here. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, thirteen. That's 14, what I'm saying. 15, 16, everything, 18, everything must go. 19, 20. So you got twenty-one books. They are all Superman books. A nice little seventy-five cent cover. Another nice little seventy-five cent cover. Let's move back a little bit. World's finest. Some Man of Steel. Funeral of a friend or for a friend. You get two copies of eight. Yeah, one's a newsstand. Yeah. So you got like 20-something books. I'll let this go for 10 bucks. Anybody wants it, you're filling any runs of Superman, you can get this whole stack for 10 bucks. Obviously, shipping will be a little bit, but with $15 shipping, you could even fill up the rest of your box. You still can add like another 20 books to your box. We'll put this right here for $10. There you go. 10 bucks. For that whole stack. Shit, that's a bargain. Okay, you guys are not liking Spider-Man today, so let's get Spider-Man out of here. So what's that? That's a $2 spot. How about we give you this nice purple shiny Magneto? Oh, that's nice. Ooh. And Kevich. Yes, and let's give you uh, X Men Legacy with some nice gambit action. So both of these for two bucks, dollar a book, people. All right, let's throw up a five dollar book since poor Spider Man here is everyone's like true believers. Ew. Justin Just Jordan said that there was a first appearance in all them Superman books. Y'all better jump on it. I told you That's we don't what have. I'm saying. We Ten don't have time to. Yeah, no time to look today, man. We're just throwing them up there. We gotta get rid of some books. I mean, basically yeah. every book in that stack is six is fifty cents each. Yeah. I'll even throw you three more Superboys. I like this one a lot. It just looks good. There you go. Oh, we lost a ten dollar price tag. Does that mean they're free? <laughs> Let's do a five dollar before this ends. Yeah, let's see if we got any Power Ranger fans. We'll give you Power Rangers issue 31 and 21. Which technically, I mean, I have the whole run from 22, I believe, to uh, 50 something. So, five bucks, two Power Rangers books. Go, go, buy those Rangers. Uh, all right, nobody wants Quantum Woody. Let's get him out of there for a dollar. Let's do. You guys are killing me here. So Two many bucks. bucks for that Magneto book. That's a damn good deal. Yeah. I mean, that's easily a $5 book all day long. Oh, yeah. Here, take some Ravage 2099, some Goldie action for a dollar. Let's get. Dun, dun, dun. I don't know if these are worth three bucks, but we'll try it on the $3 spot just to get out of where nobody wants this goodness of random books for three bucks. We got the final night, issue number one, two, three, and four. So let's try those up for three bucks. But those are all DCU variants. Yep. Those are five dollars each. Yep. If somebody I'm... don't buy that shit, I'm gonna I'm gonna quit. I'm just, I just quit. <laughs> like obviously what I'm doing here ain't working because 
that's just i mean that's twenty dollars worth of books for three dollars yeah man just emptying out boxes man i'm into my new key collecting so we got to get rid of all these books <laughs> yeah, j blitz i got j blitz first and letter g <laughs> j blitz and t-pain both came in all right um if you got him who you got first i, I'm I got on, him I on Streamyard and on the stream yeah i got him on my youtube at first too j blitz and i got j blitz taking letter f also so letter F for two bucks. Look at that, man. That's a steal. There you go. You guys know if Jay Blitz is buying books or worth something. You guys are slacking. <laughs> slacking. For three dollars. And he got the other ones for two bucks. For two dollars. Look at that. Five dollars. He's gonna turn around and make like twenty off you guys. I'm telling you. On his auction. All right, so let's fill up these spots real quick. So for three bucks, I'm going to give you the Day of Vengeance, issue number six. And for two bucks, I'm going to give you, da, 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 da. let's do some rare ones. Let's do DC Universe Decisions, issue number two. And I'll even throw in another DC book, The War That Time Forgot. Nice little dinosaur action. You get both those books for two bucks. <laughs> yeah, you're right, T Pain. You got some competition on the wheel now. <laughs> uh, a and B, J Blitz, A and B are both auctions. Yeah. Um, I'll let him explain them to you. So it's a twenty dollars start. You got Batman ninety eight. You got Batman Super Number One. I'm not even gonna read them to you. I'll just show you the covers. So it's a twenty dollars start and bid. If you're the only one bidding, I guess you could just get them for twenty bucks. You got some sweet ass covers though. So you get all these books for twenty bucks. No one else bids against you. And on the B spot, it's an $8 start. And you get some sick-ass Avengers books. That, uh, the second one you showed, I think that's the first appearance of, uh, that one, uh, Hill. What's yeah. her name? You see that? Maya Hill or something like that. She she becomes director of, of Shield. I think that's her. Okay. I think that's her first appearance. I Look can't at that remember guy. for sure. Yeah, keys up there for you guys. And if you want a bunch of Superman books, Jay Blitz, you get a whole fucking stack of twenty something books for ten bucks. All right, he's bidding uh, on uh, eight dollars on that letter B. Somebody better snatch it from him. He knows what he's doing. Um, all right, so nobody wants Travage, nobody wants X Men. New Avengers was a it was a really good run too. Like that storyline, like I was buying that off the shelf and it was good. <laughs> all right, let's see here. Since if I have you do that weird thing called reading comics, you know. Some okay, people... I, <laughs> I I don't read a lot, you know that. Since I have two of these <laughs> copies, I'll let one go for five bucks, but I'll throw something in there because I don't feel right just throwing one book in for five bucks since it is a blowout today. Mm, DC, DC action. What do we got for y'all here for some DC? Here you go. You can have Batgirl 47. Sick ass little Joker cover. So you'll get both of these for five bucks. And that's a sick one too with the Joker. See, that's confidence right there. He said, I bid and I'm out. Let me know if I win. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what a total later? I got you, man. All right, let's see here. What are we going to put in these dollar spots? Dollar, 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 holla, four. That's all right. You only got like five seconds left. Oh, okay, perfect. Oh, here. I'll give somebody a steal. Check out the sexy as Aquaman. Damn. Aqua abs. Aqua abs. Where? Thank you, T Pain and Jay Blitz. I think nobody beat you. We heard the timer. So Jay Blitz gets some more nice books for $8. Yes, indeedy. Yep, that was time. So if anybody wants to grab any of these from gamers, just hit him up in the chat here. Or I, I dropped his link in there a little while back. If you can yeah. find it. And it's the um, same thing. Gamers land underscore comics for Instagram. And I'll give you guys my PayPal there. All right. So let's move over to Parker, who I'm sure is just patiently waiting for his turn and totally ready to go. You're muted. Is that better? Yeah, now we can, can hear you. Hear me now? Well, now it's not better, but yeah. <laughs> Debatable. 
Well, now you leave. Now you leave, Jay Blitz. You only other one. You only other one buying anything. Come on. He has a show to do. That's cool. All right, well, here we go. Continuing as we left off. He's still. I have books. He's got books on hold with me. I haven't like responded about. So I don't. I don't even know. I don't even care. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. Uh, well, I will. I will add to that. I was going to show my. I'm look over there. My shipping rates and stuff. I do nine dollar flat rate shipping, no matter how many you get. And then to kind of touch on what I was just saying, I've got books on hold with quite a few people. I know even a lot of our regulars in the chat. I'm holding books for people, so feel free to, um, I guess double check if I if I'm holding books for you still or something, because maybe people have forgot. Um, but then in addition to that, say if you're broke now or whatever, I'm taking layaway for the holidays. So from now until Christmas, um, any YouTube sales or Instagram stuff you see, um, I can hold for you a couple weeks. If it helps to hold till payday or till next week, I can do that for people. And say you only see one or two books you want and you don't want to pay the $9 shipping for one book, I can start a box with you and keep, you can keep stuff on hold. Um... For as long as you want, you can keep adding to it. You can fill the box, make it worthwhile, make the shipping cost worth it, I guess. Or, yeah, again, I can do holds. I can hold. You don't have to pay tonight. I can hold till next week. I don't know if the other sellers will do this, but just as far as I go, I just, I'm trying to sell some stuff. So if you see something you know you want and you just don't have the money right now, just let me know and we can work something out. What's up, Ruben? Uh, How you yeah, doing, man? Do Thanks for coming out. But, yeah, I probably after this next week, I'm going to get with everybody who has – with me and people that don't respond i'll give you a couple tries but after a certain probably after christmas probably starting next year that stuff's going to go back into circulation i'm going to start trying to sell it again um so yeah it's the like herbs yeah we, i know I, you got i got books with you but anyone else if you want to double check i am holding for quite a few people who normally pop in here and it's been a while so let's clear some space Spin them 29 first print this is the Fortnite. i don't know what this thing's called the Prize pinata or party pinata, secret pinata. I don't know. Uh, it's that Fortnite variant. What's up, Dennis? How you doing, brother? So I think it's the first cover appearance of a couple characters. At least maybe that guy or this person. I think this guy's on a different cover as well. So if you care about that, there's some Fortnite firsts in here. Asking four dollars. It's been on twenty nine first print. Um. Avengers Fantastic Four Empire, number three. $4. claim in the Venom book. For sure. I have another one of those if someone wants. Um, if you want another one of those Venom 29s, the Fortnite variant, I have one more. Um, Empire Black Panther variant, this is number three. Four bucks. Less than cover, that's a dollar off cover price. You're mint. Yeah, Steve, man, I got your message earlier, and that's that's really cool. No rush. I just hadn't responded yet. I'll get get with you after the show. Uh, Eternal Warrior Five. It's the first cover appearance of Bloodshot. Asking four dollars, and then I've got Bloodshot number one, five dollars. This is a high grade copy. There's like no spine ticks and you know, tough black covers. Shiny, foily goodness from Barry Windsor's. Five dollars, and that Bloodshot movie was pretty good. Vin Diesel, I recommend you guys watch it. Don't don't pay very much to watch it. Try to watch it for free, but it's good. Um, Star Trek X Men. I'm not really a fan of either, but I'll take X Men. Five bucks for that. It's in very fine, very fine flesh shape. Let's say very fine. Mark Silvestri. There is Gambit. That's five bucks. I don't have any... What what run of Green Lantern are you looking for? New 52? Uh, Gil Kane back in the day? Silver Age shit? What do you want? Uh, this is one of those lenticulars. Spectacular. Two, 297. 
uh, negative space cover for the cap or deck. Spidey's in jail. What's up, bud? Let's go outside after this. Uh, New Avengers 13. Five dollars. Near mint. It's like the second appearance of Ronin, maybe third. I think second. Second cup. Even Parker knows. Jay Bliss has got that added on with his. <laughs> I'm telling you, I said that was a good book when you showed it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Thor number one, five bucks. This is the first print, five ninety nine cover price. Again, you're saving a buck here. Near mint, five bucks. Deceased number one, five bucks. Peach Momo, m -m -m -m. Peach No Mo Moco. Please No Mo Moco. Spawn three oh something three oh three. Sounds right. The Virgin cover five bucks near mint. It's a big ass Rob Liefeld gun. It's a Michael Golden gun. Shanghai Red number one five dollars. Evolution number one five dollars. Violent Love number one. Five dollars. Captain America Annual Five, six dollars. Higher grade, again, all black cover. Really no blemishes at all. High grade, six bucks. Iron Man, 133. Early Scott Lang. Fourth appearance. Fifth as Ant-Man. I don't know. Couldn't tell you. Six bucks. High grade. Folk appearance. Am I covering up, Rody? Six dollars. Playing. Ceased five. You got it, Star Stream. Well, bam. Um, I got Omega, number one. First appearance. Ten bucks. You got like four minutes left, man. Okay. Raven the Bold, 61. Did you see that, that claim from uh, Starscream? Sure did. Yep. Okay. Pull to the side one. I don't have any murder, hobo. Mm -mm. Uh, 12 bucks on that. I, I almost murdered a hobo once. True story. Yeah, I said, I said it earlier. I don't mind holding books for people. We can start a box. I can hold them for you. You don't even have to pay today. If you want to pay next week, if you want to pay when you get paid again, that's fine. Um, let's just work something out. As long as you stick to it, that's fine with me. I know it's the holidays. If you see a book you know you want, you just, you're just you tight on funds right now, you're waiting to get paid, just hit me up. Go ahead and claim it. We'll figure it out. I'm in no rush on payment. I just... I want to get some shit sold. Conan, 12, 15 bucks. Oftentimes, I'll just ask that you put the shipping costs down as, like, down payment. And you, you know, whatever, we'll figure it out. But again, and there's, I, I mentioned it earlier as well, I have books on hold for at least 12 different people, but only about two people regularly are in here buying off me. So if maybe you forgot you have books on hold, um... Feel free to hit me up and double check. Some of you have already paid for them, or some of them. 15 bucks on this. Silver Age Action Comics. Um, but yeah, I will, I will, I'm going to get with everybody probably tomorrow. I have the whole day off. And I'm going to start sending out reminders. 20 for this Silver Age Flash. Fat Flash. Fat Flash. He should jog. Lose some weight. Running a little. Fattest man alive. That's 20 bucks. I got Swamp Thing 7 with Batman, 20 bucks. And yeah, and again, if you know I, you have stuff on hold me and just you haven't found anything you want, that's okay. I can keep holding. There's no rush. I'm not rushing anyone. I just think a lot of people forgot. Maybe you buy from a lot of people. I know I do that. So, this is the. Hey, what's up, Hack? How you doing, man? What's up, Hack? TTA 99. Higher grade. I'd say fine, very fine. 20 bucks.
Justice League 23, first Queen B, $20. It's in uh, very good condition. Superman 214, some Neil Adams art. That's in very fine condition, higher grade. I'm just trying to get rid of it, 25 bucks. This is a $40 comic all day. Probably 50 in this grade. Woo! All right, twenty-four dollars. Um, Batman three fifty-nine. Your first cover appearance, where you can see him. A killer croc. It's his first full appearance, first origin. Whatever. He's out of the shadows. He's not. He's out from under his trench coat. I think there is a cover where you can see him hiding behind a coat and a hat. This is his first time fully exposed. The newsstand copy. Masking twenty-five. There are some spine. Some fine wear. Definitely some chipping right there. Still attached by both staples. It's still a complete, fully there book. New stand. First full killer croc. You get all these other great rogues on it. $25. Playing PTA 99. You got it, Titan. Um, oh, hey, Titan's here. Hey, Max is here. What's up, y'all? I'm 25 on this guy. That's the timer. And 45 on this guy, Clayton Crane, McFarlane, facsimile. Yep, yeah, see any of these books on the Rewind? You're interested? Hit me up. I got them. Still. Whatever. Okie dokie. So, yeah, if anybody wants to get any of them books, just hit up Parker. You'll make his day. If you get them all, seven hack is seven away from giving away his slabs and mystery box giveaway things. So, if anybody in here hasn't already gone over to Hack's channel and subbed him up, then you should because why wouldn't you? Right? Unless you're just selfish and you don't want him to achieve his goals. Don't be selfish, help him achieve his goals. This is going to be three dollars. Uh, all my $2 books are gone. So I guess I should write that in here, shouldn't I? $3 each. Just claim the letter as I go. And if you don't want any of them, say pass so I can keep going. First book, uh, Amish Studio Swimsuit Special Number 1. Here, Matt. Let's see, got that uh, all kinds of good stuff in there. Uh, Young Avengers number five. That is the first appearance of the son of Ultron or the third Ultron, something like that. I can't remember. Three dollars. Near mint. Uh, you got Marvel Team Up number fifty-four. Spider-Man and the Hulk. This is not a near mint copy. This is a reader copy. It's probably a fine, maybe lower, but. It is what it is. Uh, you got Green Lantern number 54. This is a cool book. This is the, the issue where dude chops up Kyle Rayner's girlfriend and throws her in the refrigerator. And he finds her and freaks out. And then he comes after him and kills him. Whoops, I just spoiled it. <laughs> My bad. Uh, we got Superman number 74. That's like the final uh, battle between Superman and Doomsday, I believe. Something like that. Uh, Green Lantern. Number 81. It's like a commemorative tombstone looking shiny. I also have a DC Universe of that. It's going to go up later. Uh, this is a cool, this is a variant to uh, Absolute Carnage number two. It's like a Young Guns. Marco Chiletto with Chichetto. Uh, so yeah, near mint. Ready to go. Three bucks. And then last up, New Mutants, New X-Men, not New Mutants, New X-Men, 117, it's first appearance of Beak, and somebody else, it might be Gloop, I could be wrong about that one, but I know it's the first appearance of Beak at least, mm -hmm. and it's also near mint, $3 each, if anybody wants any of them, throw it in the chat, nobody wants any of them, say pass, say beat it, get out of here with that crap. Oh, see, 
You got a new sub hack. You ask and you shall receive. Now buy something. Max is claiming letter A. You want some swimsuit action? Hey, ME Comics is back. What's up, man? And Max is getting on the wheel. And ME Comics is claiming letter H. That is right, Hack. That is early Jim Lee. I think that was my last one, too. I had so many of those. ME is claiming letter H. Mm -hmm. T-Pain is claiming letter C. Y'all making me run all over the place now. That's fine. I need the exercise. Letter C, getting that team up. Mm -hmm. And then Max claimed letter G. Which is, oh, that's a, that's, a, that's a cool book. Very nice. All right, if anybody else wants to get any of these, say it now or forever hold your peace. Oh, yeah. I'm surprised nobody's taking that because that's really a cool book. I like it. I like it. Even though I don't like DC, I like books where people get chopped up and thrown into refrigerators. Uh, so next, uh, we got uh, Fantastic Four number one. This is uh, like a venomized cover where everyone looks all venomized and stuff. Uh, Mortal Hulk 34. That's the leader and his big brain. This is cool. The Hunger number one. Awesome uh, Galactus cover. Your man, Christy. I love this book. I shouldn't sell it, but I've, I've put it up here anyway. It's The Priest Purgatory. So issue number one. From uh, Tokyo Pop, I think it is. It's, yeah, Tokyo Pop. Yeah, that's the dude that plays the vision. But he was also in this movie, too. Oh, Priest was good. <laughs> I like it. Yeah, it was. Uh, New I mean, Avengers number 20. Nice Magneto cover. The little reflection action going on in there. You got X-Men Annual number 9. Nice clean copy of that. For three bucks. Oh man, can you dig it? You got a, this is Midnight Massacre Morbius number 12. Hey, look, you can see my camera. It looks like uh, Johnny Five. Johnny Five, that was alive. <laughs> That's probably better than the book. And then the last one, we got Why the Last Man. This is number six. It's kind of hard to find all these lower number Why the Last Man. They're real low print, now, print run. So there you go. Three bucks. If anybody wants it. Oh, we already got somebody. M.E. claimed letter F off the rip. And then Max claimed another. Max is jumping all over the G spot. And that was he. He got letter F. We'll give them a couple seconds to if anybody's interested in any of them other them others books. I thought that then actually got it. Parker, check your Instagram if you can. Yeah, I saw I can't respond to any Instagram stuff till after the stream. Oh, okay. But I got you. I'm responding right now. Um, yeah, Max, here. that was Morbius. Okay, so nobody's interested in the rest of these. I'll go ahead and take these down and put up some other ones real quick. I'm not going to sell this anymore. This is good. This is going out of there, keeping that thing. Nobody wants it anyway. They probably would buy it if it was 50 cents somewhere. Let's see. We got... Kamui, 
number one. Yeah. From Biz Comics. Nice near mint copy. Movie number one. Genuine ninja story. If you like ninjas. Uh, Eclipse comics. Pre printed it. You know. Last stop on the red line. Number one. Pretty cool story. If you hadn't read that, it's pretty good. Uh, I got uh, This is a Power of X. This is the foreshadowing variant for number six. We got Avengers Initiative number seven. We got Domino number nine. I believe that's the first appearance of some bear character. Ultra Bear, maybe? Something like that. Did I write it down the back? I did. Ultra Atlas Bear. I was close. Oh, uh, let's see. Here's another. Uh, nobody wants that crap. How about Youngblood number two? First appearance of Prophet. Is that who it is? Prophet. You got Hellraiser, Nightbreed, Jihad. So it's like number one of two, I think it is. It's a prestige format book. It's got my Clive Parker. Very awesome. Just some Nightbreed and some Hellraiser all in one. And then the last book, this is uh, the Free Comic Book Day, Kaiser Sose, Scorched Earth. Uh, it has a preview of the Rift in it, which they've already made into a show. But uh, hard book to find right there. So if anybody wants any of them, three bucks. I don't know how much time I got left, but that's all my $3 books. Come on, Swiper. Oh, yeah, this is pretty much done. <clears throat> anyway. so, yeah, that's all I got for this round. So if anybody wants any of that, go ahead and drop it. Drop it and we'll go from there. Okay, fine. Bye, Max. No sweat, Max. Have fun doing whatever it is. It's more important than, than, than hanging out there. Any Strange Academy or earlier Grim Fairy Tales. Man, I don't have any Strange Academy. Um, Gamers probably has some Grim Fairy Tales. I think he put some Grim Fairy Tales up already and nobody bought it for like next to nothing. There you go. That is the timer. So I just knocked over my heater. I might have to pick that up before I burn the house down. Oh, it smells nice and warm in here now. So, yeah, if, uh, if anybody does decide that you want to get any of these books or any of the other stuff I put up, just hit me up and let me know. And we can make that happen. And we're going to hop over to Gamers Land. Let's see. It is uh, 9 o'clock, so we should be able to get at least one more, maybe another round after that. All right. Let's do it. So... We're going to try selling this Venom lot again, but we added two more books in here, but we changed it to a $25 right and start. Um, obviously, Venom number one. You have Venom number 25, 27, 28, the other version of 28, and you have the free comic book day Spider-Man. So $25 starting round on those. We're going to do another $8 starting on B, which you get the... Little reprint of Batman, Death in the Family. You get the other Detective Comics. 38. Batman and Robin. The Curse of Clayface. A nice little Batman 500. A nice little Batman Secret Files number one. Ooh, it's so shiny. And you get this one again, which is a Batman 67. And Batman's Grave number two. So all those are for $8 starting bid. For 10 bucks. You get yourself Batman Europa number one. Number two, you get Batman and Superman number one, and you get Batman 93. Ooh, and also Batman 55. So for 10 bucks, you get all those. Might as well add another spot here. And then you have Dead Man number three and Family Tree. You'll get both of these for a dollar in the C spot. In the E spot, you get Blood of the Demon number seven. And 20XX number one for a buck. In the F spot, you get Black Canary number 12 and Katana number three for two bucks and letter F. No. Let's see here. On the G spot, you get The Walking Dead, The Alien, The Walking Dead, and you get Die. So what number is this? Does not say. You just get Die. 
number nine, I'm guessing. Who knows? Either way, you get those two for three bucks. And for five bucks, you get Identity Crisis number one, Avengers, Fantastic Four, Empire, and Next Mutants number 13. So, boom, for five bucks. So there you go. And if anybody's interested in going big tonight, we will put up Death in the Family, issue number one, two, three, and four. But this is only if enough people are interested, or if anyone's interested in a buy it now, it does need a press. As you can see right on Batman's forehead, you got a little bit of a crease. It's non-collar breaking. It, all it needs is a press, and it'll be very, very nice. So you got all four issues of that, if anybody's interested. So there you go. And Grim Fairy Tales, huh? Now to know where I put them all. Let's see here. Is this all of them? I know I have a lot more than this. There we go. We got some more here. Some more here. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Now, why should got to be so catchy? I don't know, man, but it makes me want to dance. So we got some Zenscope, if you're interested. Nice little sexy cover. Some adult um, action cheeks right there. You got Grim Fairy Tales number nine. Shadowlands. Ooh. You got another Zenscope Oz. Zenscope Wonderland. Zensko Grim Fairy Tales. This one's limited to 350. Happy birthday, girl. Got something, something Wonderland. Issue number six. Clash of Queens number four. Grim Fairy Tales it's number 60. Beyond Wonderland. And this is Witchblade, so this is a new goal here. So we do got a few of them. How many are in here? One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine. So we got nine books. Uh, if you want the limited to 350 with all nine of them, I'd have to at least do 15 bucks for all nine. But if you wanted to take this one out and you just wanted these, I'll give them to you a dollar a piece. So you get all eight of them for a buck a piece. That's eight bucks. Price on a death in the family set. He, um, if I was to do a buy it now, oh man, mm, you know, I've been sitting on him for a while, dude. I do either 75, that's what I have to let it go on because each one of these graded individually. I mean, you're getting at least 100 and something off each one. So that's like four hundred dollars worth of books, but ungraded. And since I need a press, dude, I'll let them go for seventy-five tonight, just to sell some books. All right, let's start switching some of these out since nobody wants them. Yeah, we got some more Oz actually in this box over here. So let's switch out the Walking Dead on the G spot because no one's claimed them, right? Nope. Okay, so let's do quest. We got some Grim Fairy Tales quest here. We got issue three and four. I'll let those go for, yeah, you know what? Let's do three, four, and five. So we have quest, Grim Fairy Tales, three, four, and five. We'll do all those three for a buck a piece, man, three bucks. Let's get rid of this number two. Or two dollar books, Ooh. and let's put on. What do we want to sell for two dollar? So two dollar. See what I got here for you. Okay. Now let's do these Fantastic Four. You get issue number four and issue number 11, Spidey in a very nice white suit. 
Let's do both of those for two bucks. In the F spot. Let's get rid of these bad boys. And if you don't want to spend that much, how about we just do Wonderland and let's do Oz number two. Two of them for a dollar. Screw it. Let's take these down. And let's do... How about Disaster Inc. for a buck? And let's get rid of this $5 since nobody wants that. How about we do a sweet deal? I'll give you one, two, three, four, five. You know what? Screw it, man. All seven of the Grim Fairy Tales for five bucks. No venoms, huh? If you want just the limited one, um, for UT Payne, since you've already bought so much, uh, just give me eight bucks, bro. I pay ten for it. This is one of the first books I bought when I started collecting comic books. So give me eight bucks, bro, if you want it, and it's yours. Nobody wants the Venom, huh? All right, let's put Venom to the side. Let's do... I guess they just want boobs. Just boobies. All right, how about this? Let's take this A spot off. And they just want to look at the boobs. Let's make that clear. T-Pain said, I'll take it. You'll take it for eight bucks, man. It's all yours, man. Thank you, sir. Let me find you guys something nice. Uh, I do have some old Doctor Strange, but I just couldn't sell it because somebody was stupid enough, and it's pretty beat up, actually, so never mind. We're not going to even put that up. We're not going to even put that up. We have a nice Strange Tale fe featuring Cloak and Dagger and Doctor Strange. Well, this is nice. issue number, number one. one. Yep. The Stand. question is, what do I want to sell it for is the question, because a lot of these books I haven't looked up, and I hate selling my oldies without looking them up. So... I thought we put it up here, and we tell Peter to figure out a price for that. Peter! What? There Red. you go. If anybody's interested in A, throw out an offer. Oh, there you go. We the highest to offer. There you go, man. Honestly, no. You want to go two bucks, and you're not losing anything. All right. Have you looked to see if that's a Mark Jeweler? Uh, that's actually a good idea, because I haven't went through a lot of these. That would be awesome if it was. Right. I know y'all like, got a lot of Mark Jewelers up there is why yeah. I say that. He'd be like two bucks. <laughs> Actually, this whole box I got, I got it from a guy in the military. Yeah. So, um, I know you was pulling out all them coverless Mark Jewelers. I, I was so mad, dude. That's those two of them. One of them was like Spider-Man. But all right, time's up. So maybe next round we'll throw in some old goodies. All right. There you go, y'all. So if anybody wants to hit up gamers and pick up any of these books he's been showing, just drop it here in the chat or hit him up on Instagram. And we're going to move over to Parker now and see what Parker's got for us. Parker. Parker, fire. Hold on. I'm I need pictures there. of Spider-Man right now. Uh, I don't think there are, but I don't want to judge. I don't know. Uh, I'm going to be selling this. I'm going to post it on my Instagram. The Tales of the Marine Corps. Semper, Semper Fi. Tales of the Marine Corps, number one. Semper Fi, number one. I'm gonna throw it up for like five bucks, maybe. Um, great John Severin cover. But if there's anybody who is a former or active or any sort of whatever connected to the your wife, or your husband is in uh, is a marine. Any marines out there, um, you can have it for free. Just the first one to hit me up about it. I'd rather give this to a, a vet. But if there aren't any of those, um, maybe next week I'll ask again if there's just any plain armed forces people. Any vets at all, you can have it for free. So I want to give a Marine a chance at it first. Uh, but after that, if no one's even interested, who, whatever, it served, 
or if there's none of you guys, I'm going to try it on my Instagram. After that, I'm going to post it for like five bucks. Um, but I do have another one available. If someone wants to buy one of these, like I'll sell you my personal copy for five bucks. So that's the only reason I'm kind of mentioning it. So if you want it and you haven't served, five bucks. If you want it and you have, free. Cool. I know I missed, uh, I think, one of our holidays was like a week ago. Yeah, so. Marine Corps, uh, the Marine Corps birthday was, it's the day before Veterans Day. Mm, cool, right on. Well, yeah, there you go. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I've been uh, putting that run wanted... together to give to my dad. My dad's a Marine right. Corps vet. Very cool, dude. Cool rock. Let's see. I'll take it. <laughs> if you want it, keep it. You can have it. Um, oh, he was t that was him answering the uh, gamers. Oh, what? Well, gotcha, gotcha. Why? People like those uh, Xenoscope books? Ugh, y'all crazy. I can't do those. Only, the, the, only the scantily clad ones. Yeah, uh, the Mad, Mad Cave puts all those jungle fantasy books with cave woman comics. I can't do those. Basically, like, caveman porn. It's weird. I don't like <laughs> it. Nerd porn. Um, somebody wanted Strange Academy. I have a couple. But I'm gonna I'm asking basically top eBay price. I mean you can get it there cheaper. But I have a Strange Academy one, first print. If somebody wants one. Uh 75. Sorry. I think there's they range from 65 to 75 on eBay. So I mean it's basically the price that I could get this and then replace it with the cheapest one I can get on eBay. But if you don't, you don't, you don't trust eBay, you don't have an account, you're banned, whatever, yeah, you can get it right here. 75 bucks. It is near mint. I'd call it a 9-8 candidate. There's no flaws with it. Um, I'll put it in some Mylar for you, but... Uh, yeah. Best I can do. Unless you buy a shit ton of other books from me, maybe I can knock down a little bit. Other than that, I've got issue... I've got a third print I can do $6 on. But I think a lot of shops still have this to cover, which is five. So you're not really not that much of a hike but six bucks for the third print of strange academy number one new mint uh i have the fourth print but i'm asking 15 on that one it's also near mint then i think prices range from 10 i think there's one for eight bucks right now or 10 10 10 dollars 10 to 12 is common on this I mean, again, I'm not trying to sell them. These are my personal copies, but if you really need one, I basically got to get the price that I can replace it with. 15 on that one. And last but not least, I have number four, the variant cover, asking five bucks. I also have the Scarlet Witch cover to this, which is also number four. Uh, it's the Alex Ross Timeless variant for Scarlet Witch, Alex Ross. Um, six bucks on that one. But it's the same book as this. It's issue four. What's up, Anthony? What's up, Obit? Come yeah, to hook up on some of that free shipping with Gamers Land. For those. <laughs> um, I do have this other strange book. Strange number one. That's strange. It's a really cool story. Uh, I've never seen a Strange 2, 3, or 4. I don't know if they went on. But four bucks on that if you want. Uh, okay. I got X23, number one, for six bucks. Number one, it's near mint. It might look a little blurry. There's a, It's in two bags. It's like double bagged in here. You got a double bag when you're messing with X23. got a double bag, you're X23. You don't want to get a bunch of little X babies. Uh, near mint, though, six bucks, high grade. Looks nine eight. Looks ten to me. So I hope that's. <laughs> uh, I don't, I miss these Avengers No Road Home five and six, which is your first Conan and Marvel continuity, like regular Mar or regular Marvel universe. I don't know if it's the six one six universe, but uh, these are four bucks a piece. This is your first cover and first full appearance of Conan. And here's a reflection cover for Steven Spock here around. Um, four dollars each on these. If you want, I'll do seven for the pair. If people want them both. Now I'll do six. Six for the pair. If you want both, six for both books. This is the two key run both near mint? Okay, cool. 
I got Punisher 218, which is essentially number one for the Marvel Legacy run. Uh, you get a couple first in it. It's like the first War Machine droids. What do you call those things? Like man, man droids, yeah. Uh, it's not the right name. There's another name for it, but it's like the War Machine drones. Um, they first premiere here. And it's your first time Frank Castle puts on the War Machine armor. Um, that doesn't mean much. Clayton Crane cover, though. Pretty pretty dope. That should be a yeah, key Yeah, like that book. Five bucks. Yeah, I just sent you one. I think five dollars. And I have multiples of these available. Nicest one goes to the first fire. Deadpool Assassin. Get your ass ass in and buy this Deadpool book before Deadpool 3 comes out and you miss out on some cool stuff. Man. Hey, shout out to Louis13. I didn't see him post his message in there. Thanks for coming out, man. Yeah, for sure. I saw it earlier. Uh, what's up, Louis? Glad to have a new summer to the some, show. Some fresh chum for the waters. Yeah, come back tomorrow on Tuesday. Same time, same channel. We're going to do an auction. Some of the same panel as well. I'll be here. I'm always here. I might be a little bit more uh, exciting tomorrow. Can't guarantee Days it though. Now. You like you didn't like Days of Future Past? Too many people died. Well, how about Days of Future Now? <laughs> uh, it's a number one. It's a nice black cover. It does have one little tick though. So I meant to put four dollars on this, not five. Four dollars if you want it. Slash and prices with his Wolverine Plus. Nicked in prices. Four dollars for this cool, cool book. Uh, all right. Well, that's basically everything. Nope, you still got time. I got ten on this one because it's the uh, cool one eighty one. Like, I think he only had this, like the whisker suit, uh, whisker version for one eighty, one eighty one, one eighty two. And then I think he immediately, by giant size X-Men, had the full, longer ears. So, I love this suit. It's my favorite version of Wolverine, even though it didn't last long. You can't and see I his big start. lamb chop sideburns in that outfit. Yeah. And I had a special order of this one because all my shops only got, like, one or two. They, only, they didn't... There was several different covers. Every unif every costume Wolverine's ever had had a version of this cover on it. It was at least ten. Yep. My shop only carried, like... Two of them, two or three, like the brown suit, the regular yellow suit, and I think a Logan one. So I had a special order of this. I wound up with two of them, and I'm willing to let one of them go. Wolverine should never have to wear a brown suit. He's not scared of anything. I like the uh, Weapon X, like the naked man version, where he's got the wires and the cables in him. And the, the <laughs> of course you do. <laughs> I, I like the naked Wolverine. I like, <laughs> That's my favorite outfit. I like my Wolverine naked. The Weapon X. Don't we all? Yes, the Weapon X version. And not just like running around naked, but in the freezing cold for maximum shrinkage. Uh -huh. Marvel Super Heroes 23, this reprints the first Scarlet Witch, and Quicksilver, and Toad, and the other guy, Mastermind. And the Owl. And the Owl. Leland, <laughs> Leland Owlsley. Leland. Uh, this is a higher grade copy. Very fine. At least a very fine minus. I call it firm very fine. I'm asking 20. It's a Silver Age book now. Yeah, it is. Silver Age book. It reprints Scarlet Witch, which is like a $500 book now. Maybe six. I had to pay four fifty dollars last year for mine. And that was, it took me years to find one that cheap. So, 20 bucks for this. And I think that's fair. I got this one beard hair. Okay, okay. That's not, that's not your thing. How about Saga Swamp Thing number one? I think that's Alan Moore. I'm asking 20 because it's very fine plus... Maybe near mint, near mint minus. Very fine near mint. Confident in that. Colors. Uh, the first ego. And sorry, it's not Kurt Russell. 
it's got a subscription crease down the middle, but other than that, it's pretty solid. Yeah, you can see that. Um, very good. Minus, very good. Very good, minus, very good. Y'all know well, if you like any of these books and you want to get them, just claim them as he's showing them to you. There's not yep, any starting you line that you got to wait for or anything. You just claim it as he goes. Yeah, claim it. If you want it, claim it. Whatever. I'm not going to... There's not a book to show. So $20 on that one. And we can uh, set up a payment arrangement. You don't even need to pay now. Pay next week. Payday, that's fine too. I'm taking layaway till Christmas. Uh, this is the intro to McFarlane on Hulk. Or like his first full artwork on a Marvel title. I don't even know. I know he did that Daredevil book and I, think, I guess a Spitfire. I learned that from you guys. This is near mint though, high grade. I'm at twenty five dollars. It's marked down from thirty. Twenty five on that. Samson's got a little face hugger on him. Hey. Okay, okay, okay. Suicide Squad, first appearance, modern version. Um this is my high grade ones. Twenty dollars on this. Twenty bucks. Oh my, that is the time. Okay. All right, y'all, so if anybody wants to grab any of them books, just hit Parker up, drop it in the chat, or hit him up on Instagram if you're watching this on the Rewind, and he can make that happen. You can see the little boy, little guy, is all tuckered out. <laughs> all right, so this round for me, this is uh, $5. Five. $5. Um, each letter is five bucks. You can claim the letter if you like what's in it for five dollars. That's pretty simple, right? Self explanatory. You see, I got all these big stacks. That's because the first one part that I'm going to do here is going to take a second, but hey, they're all runs of books. So it's not just a single book, it's the runs. So in the A spot, this is a DC Comics from 2002. This is Dead Man, the one through four. So you got number A, letter A, you know, number one, duh. number two, and you got uh, three and four of both these real nice Mike Mignola covers. I guess it helps if I hold it under the camera. Real nice. They're all in really good shape, you know. So five bucks each one, not each book, but each letter. Uh, and the, we're going to do it like this, in the E spot. We got this is a Winter Soldier, uh, one through eight. So you got number one. I think these are Brooks covers. Two. So that's a double looking cover right there. Three. You got some Doctor Doom up in there. Four. Bucky's running for his life because he's on fire. Number five. Fighting a freaking gorilla with a machine gun. Number six. Number seven. Got some more Black Widow, and then number eight. So eight books. For five dollars, that's one through eight, so you can actually read it and not just have a bunch of covers laying in the box. In the B spot, we're gonna do this is Secret Avengers. This is one through four. So you got number one, number two, number three, and number four. These are all near men, red ones. Put back in the bagging board in the F spot. We will do, this is Scarlet, the Michael Bryan Bendis story. Uh, one through, one through, it's the whole run, it's one through five. We got number one, number two, number three, number four, and number five. Really good story if you've never read it, it's pretty good. And the C spot, We'll do. This is Falcon. This is missing one book, so I have to apologize for that. But this is Falcon 1 through 8. It's missing number 3, I think. So you got number 1, you got number 2, you got number 4, number 5, number 6. Nice kissy cover. <laughs> number 7, and number 8. Nice little run. Go ahead, Falcon. You ain't got that. There you go. You can hop in there. Read you some books. Um, in the D spot, we're going to do this is Ultimate Comics X Men 1 through 3. Number 2. And then number 3. 
Nice reflection cover there. These are all dope, and they're all near mint, man. Got that black edge on there. Look at that. That all nose pine ticks, all taken really good care of. Uh, in the G spot, we're gonna do. This is uh, the end X Men book three. X Men, uh, Men and X Men. I don't know what the fuck that's supposed to mean, but these are all land covers. There's one through five. I believe that's the whole run. You got one, number two, number three. These aren't. Well, those aren't bad. Number five. The first one's a land cover, though. I don't know who did the other ones. Anyway, in the G spot, and then in the A spot, we're going to do X Men The End, book two. These are land covers. So you got book one, two, three, four, five, and six. So six books in that one, five bucks. Every letter is five dollars. You want to get in on any of these just claim the letter hopefully you can read them i should have started the timer a long time ago but i didn't whoopsie so there you go if anybody's interested in any of them books just throw it down in the chat five dollars for runs of books you're not just getting the one book on top you're getting the whole run And then go subscribe to Parker's channel. <laughs> or you can say pass if nobody's interested in them. Maybe somebody's like going through their boxes right now saying, wait, do I have that? For five bucks, how can I turn that down? I don't know. That might be what you're doing. Or you might be sitting there thinking like, what's all this garbage? I'm going to go get a beer. I'll be back. Maybe it'll be gone by the time I get back. Either way, we all win. <laughs> uh, no, Starscream, I don't have any Batman runs. Sorry, I, I'm not a DC reader, so the fact that I have one DC run up there is just mind-boggling. It's, it's actually it says a lot about my dedication to you, you the customer. <laughs> but no, I'm sorry. I don't have any. I wish I did for you, man. So I'll just give it a little bit longer and maybe, maybe not. I don't have a lot left to sell, so I'm really just totally stalling right now. I better make sure that I have enough to fill eight spots. See, I thought I did, but now I gotta find one more book. Whatever shall I do? Sell so that for eight bucks. I mean, for five bucks. Sell so that for five mm -hmm. bucks. How many books around here? I can sell all these for five bucks. That's only two. Okay, well, I guess that's uh, a big fat no thank you. Uh, Spidey runs. I do have a, a run of Spidey books, but I can't put it up for $5, but I will show it to you. And if it's something you're interested in, you can claim it and we'll go from there. How's that sound? Sound fair enough? It's going to take me a second to stick all this stuff back in the box so it doesn't fall over. Uh, okay. So I'll do a round real quick of uh, just single books, and uh, 
I'll grab, uh, grab those runs of Spidey books. These are five dollars. Uh, just find the letter, just like the rest of them. This is uh, X Men Prime number one, venomized variant. Here, man, nothing wrong with it. Try and put up only good books, you know, as far as condition wise. I don't like selling stuff that's beat up. This is a nice, extraordinary X Men number one variant. This is the Hastings variant. Not an easy book to find, so. Like X Men, maybe you'd be into that. We got X Factor number 19. Nice clean copy of it. It does have up here in the X, I think the guy who was running the printer that day got his thumbprint on it because that is purple ink and a purple fingerprint. <laughs> so it's a manufacturer error, but you know, some people might not like it. ROM 75, nice high grade copy. This is the last book in the run. It's also the death of Scanner and Trapper, who are just the most important ROM characters you've ever never heard of. We got some Lady Rawhide number three, Adam Hughes. Beautiful cover. Uh, next is uh, Alpha Flight 106. This is where uh, freaking that dude comes out of the closet and lets everybody know that he's actually a, likes dudes and not women. Uh, what's his name? North Star. Yeah, it's where North Star comes out of the closet and tells everybody he's homosexual. We got Wonder Woman number 96. Classic Wonder Woman Joker cover. Near mint. Really nice. And then in the eighth spot, I got both number six and number seven of Bloodshot. That's the first appearance of Ninjax, both not in costume and in costume. So both of those at five bucks. If anybody wants any of those, just throw it in there. And uh, I'm gonna grab these Spidey books rock quick. Stop moving. Spider Man. Spider Man. I actually only have one run of Spider Man books. But I think that's uh, all I got. Oh, wait, no, this is Scarlet Spider. I guess if that counts. You count that. Yeah, actually, I can do these for five bucks, too. So what we got? Has anybody claimed anything? How dare you? Not you. Talking to the Scarlet Spider. Tried to swing away. Okay, what we got here? Has anybody claimed anything? Anybody want anything? I do at the moment. Who still chokes? I don't know. Chickens. That's cool. Yeah, I do that a lot actually. Um, so anybody in the chat? Let me know if anybody's interested in any of these books for five bucks. We still got like two and a half minutes, and I can totally just sit here. So I won't. Because I guess nobody wants any of them. So, put them all back to the shame pile. Put these all in the shame pile. I say the pile of shame. Um, I would do, this is a run of Superior Spider-Man. I have $15 was the bid I was going to start in the auction tomorrow. If you're interested in it. It is number one through number 12. So you got one, number two, number three, number four. These are all near mint. Number five, number six, number seven, number eight, number nine, 10, 11, and 12. I was going to start the bid on these. At $15 in the auction. If you want to buy it now, I do it for $20. It's 
So if you want to do a buy it now on them for twenty dollars, feel free to claim that. Oh, I mean, yeah, that's a freaking deal. killer deal. It's, it's I was it's less than two dollars a book. Shit. Yeah, I was asking five bucks just for one book. Exactly. Great deal. Boom, star scream in there. He's got it. All right, cool man. So star scream shit. I just got my I hate wires on headphones. Why do people do that? Appreciate that star screen. That's gonna get you on the wheel too, my friend. You're gonna get to win something fairly uncool. <laughs> uh, this is the only other thing I have for five bucks. Is uh, this is Scarlet Spider? It's number two through seven. It's missing number one. I was hoping to find a number one so I could do the whole run, but you can do this for five bucks. It's six bucks. They're all near mint. Red one stuck back in the bag and board. So if anybody's interested in that for five bucks, just claim claim the C spot. We got like one second left. What's up, Southern Comic Geek? Thanks for coming out, man. I don't think you missed a whole lot. And uh, we'll hop on over here to Gamers. This will be your last turn, man. Okay, Starscream said he's going to get that too. Appreciate that, man. Last round, last round. So we're just going to do buy it now. We're not going to do the auction on the last round. So you got Marvel Universe, the official handbook, number 17, for 10 bucks. You have DC Universe Reaper, Superman, issue number 10. I think this is a, what is this? Uh, it's some type of key, something about the Super Sons. So that's 10 bucks, easily 15 all day. Um, anyway, you want to buy it. Earth's Mightiest Heroes, Avengers, issue number 36. Same thing, easily a $15 book. Get it for 10 bucks. Um, then you got The Incredible Hulk, 91 for a dollar. Buffy the Vampire Slayer, number three for a dollar. You got The Punisher, 47 for three bucks. Strange Tales, Cloak and Dagger versus Doctor Strange for three bucks. And here you got a nice 20 cent cover. Strange Adventures, issue number 237 for five bucks. And let's spice things up a little bit. So this was a very, this was a pretty bad shape. I mean, it's got some water damage on the side. You can see it more on the back page. But still, even at like a 1.8, it's going for a good penny. Um, so 20 bucks for Batman. Issue number 190. This is Batman and Robin versus the Penguin. So very nice book. And then you have that one I was talking about. The Avengers, the original one. Issue number 221. Nice 60 cent cover for eight bucks. So there you go. That's what you guys can start off with, and then we'll switch off a little bit um, and go from there. And while we do that, let's see if we can't find some other little oldies for you guys. Here, I know people like this cover. You can do a Silver Surfer, nice little foily. Little shiny piece, issue number 50. We'll do this for. Oh, we got something else in the back. What's in here? Look at that. You guys almost ran off with two books. Let's see what's in this bag. And then you have Spider Man Team Up featuring Silver Surfer, number two. So screw it. Both books for six bucks. See what else we can bring out for you guys. Some goody deals on some oldies. Let's see what we got here. I do got some older Batmans that I can do. So we got Batman where Bane's breaking Batman's back. Where's that nice one we got with the air code on it? Or we got Batman 457. This is your 
error number issue. So if you guys see anything you like, just ask me what the going price is because to start saying prices and going nonstop will just be too much. So if you guys see anything you like, just ask me. I see some Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Yeah, you do. You see it for a nice dollar. That's Somebody a, got one for free the other day. That's a that's a trip that is still sitting there. People I sleep know. on that Buffy the Vampire Slayer, man. I'm telling you, man. Think about it. It's been there since I started selling on your channel. Has it? <laughs> yeah, that it's was the one of the first. One? Yeah, it's one of the first books I put up. If See, I had you. a Buffy number one, and I sold it. I mean, <laughs> and I regret it. I wish I would have kept it. I know. So we got some Star Wars. If anybody's interested in some old Star Wars, this is issue number two. I don't have number one. I've already sold that. We got 62. And we got a bunch of these. I actually have a listing on eBay where I'm selling the all the ones I got. It's like 21 books of the old Star Wars. And I think I'm selling them for like 150. Um, if there's any issue you guys need, let me know. Maybe I have it. All these might be too much for tonight. Let's put these up. <clears throat> All right, I really don't know what to switch it, so I think I put up like at least a box and a half worth. Hey, let's switch out the Punisher if nobody wants it. 47 for three bucks. Let's switch that out and put Batman and Superman. Issue number one. And what else can we add on there for you guys? Well, I got a bunch of screams. If anybody wants any screams, here, we'll throw that on there with it. You get a scream for three bucks. Buffy, for you get a scream. For the Hulk, you get a scream. For Cult and Dagger, you get a scream. Uh, for the strange one, we'll throw Purgatory and Chastity. Get that with that one for five bucks. That's a lot of scream. That is a lot of scream, but you get it with the other books. <laughs> <laughs> Any Thundercats books? I, I only own one Thundercats, and I'm not trying to sell it. Sorry. I don't think I own any. Um. I had some really good, like low print run indie Thundercats a while back, and I ended up putting it in the free round, like putting it underneath books for free because nobody wanted to buy it. <laughs> like seriously it was like one of these weird like uh crossovers where i forget who thundercats and tr and like transformers or somebody i can't remember well before our timer's out here i'll try something interesting with you guys it's obviously not going to be cheap but <laughs> he said it's going to be a scream at the screen it's good to scream <laughs> loosens up all the mucus and the membrane and then well that's disgusting <laughs> yeah i'm gonna throw on a nice little run here if you guys are into catwoman um, it's not going to be cheap. I'm going to tell you that right now, but it's for a reason. So, yeah, I've been asking 150 because I don't have COAs, but let's go 100 bucks. You get Catwoman issue number one, signed by Jim Ballant with a nice little Batman sign. You get issue number two, signed by Jim Ballant. So these are all signed by Jim Ballant. You get three, four, we signed it right on the five, <laughs> six, seven, eight, nine. Now, why didn't he sign that one on the booty? 10, I know. That would have been the 11, best place on that cover. And 12. So you get all 12 issues signed by Jim Ballant. Very nice. Very nice run. Who? Jim who? Jim Ballant. That. Jim Ballant. Ballant? 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 Michael said, what books are you holding? I have no idea what books I was holding. Yeah, I mean, I think those were Catwoman books, but I don't know if you were holding something before that or what. Uh, I don't think so. Other Before that, I was showing off the Star Wars. Other than that, I think I put on the Purgatory. Um, but these were the Catwomans, if that's what he's talking about.
all 12 issues. And like I said, guys, don't sleep on it. This might be a low grade, but it's worth it. It's a nice little 12 center. If you like those cool book, books, man. it is. I like it. Um, you know, I guess I'll show these off one more time. Take these screens uh, out of here. Starscream, no, said that uh, they didn't have COAs. That's no, why he was no. at the price he was. And then I don't know if you guys want something for 30. Uh, you got Batman Who Laughs, signed by Clayton Crane. This one does come with a COA, so super nice book. It's in very nice condition. Could put a new bag for you. Oh, he's asking what the Thundercats book is that I don't want to sell. It's the Thundercats <laughs> yeah. number one. I mean, hey, whoever likes grim fairy tales, though, I do have a Zen Scope Mystery number three slab at a nine eight. I'll let that one go for sixty bucks, obviously plus shipping. Oh, ooh la la! <laughs> ooh la 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 la! That's a virgin yeah. cover, but how do I doubt that she's yeah. a virgin? And I'm only selling it that cheap because when I bought it, somebody sent it to me, and the slab has a little bit of a. The camera's not going to pick it up, so it's got a little scuff mark right here. I bet it. But does. It's, it's just a slab, you know what I mean? <laughs> so dude must have took it home or took it to bed with him every night. He must have before he sold it. Dropped it one night when he was passed out drunk. What's um, up, Z Collects? How you doing, brother? Let's see what else we got here, slab wise, or even just other book wise to sell. This one right here, I'm asking about 75, just because you will not find it anywhere, and I, that's probably me lowballing it because you can look for it anywhere. You got a nice J. Scott Campbell, the Amazing nice. Spider Man. This one does come with a certificate of authenticity. So that's if you guys want to go big books for a nice penny on a Monday. Man, if I had money to spend, boy, I'd be buying both of them J. Scott Campbells you got sitting there. Yeah, those. I got a, I got a few of them. Oh, whatever, let these fall. We got a nice Fuck. Phoenix what? at a 9-2 signed by J. Scott Campbell. Yeah. And I believe, is this another J. Scott Campbell? Yes, we do. We have Secret Wars issue number nine at a 9-4. I'll do the same thing on this one, 60. Well, there you go, guys. That will be all for today. You said you take 60 bucks on the uh, Secret Wars? Yeah, 60 bucks on the Secret Wars 9-4. And that's, oh, that one's not signed. That's No, this, this one's not signed, no. Yeah. yeah. That's dope, though. That's a good book, man. That's a Midtown Comics exclusive. Yeah, I think it's sweet. All right, y'all. You know what to do if anybody wants to get any of this stuff. Now's your last chance. Your last shot tonight to get books from Gamersland. Do it now. Do it now before he's do gone to the chopper. You got any he's welders out, out there? Any welders want a oh, sick ass dope. iron mask? That is dope, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> How much you got on that? Uh, or is that it yours? If it, it was mine. But, I mean, I, I used to do the aluminum welding. Um, for you, man, I hit you up on a steel. For anyone yeah, else, my welding mask uh, is nowhere near as cool as that. <laughs> that's <laughs> that's freaking sweet. awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Dang, breaking out the big guns at the end. Yeah, Trying right. to take all my money. All right, well, let's move right, over guys. to Parker. Thank you, and, guys. Uh, yeah, and if, if anybody wants that stuff, man, just hit gamers up. This is uh, our last round, right? Yeah, okay. Well, yeah, this is our last round. Gorilla Todd ooh. is asking about the, your Bampy book if you want to sell it. Uh, I don't know if he's talking about this one. If you want to just flip back for two seconds. Yeah, hang on. This is just Vampirilla, issue number 81. Um, honestly, I probably wouldn't sell it for much. I'd probably sell it for what I paid for, which was 12 bucks, just because somebody cut out the um, – this is the one I was telling you about, Barbara. Somebody cut out, like, a coupon or something in the back yeah. of it. Yeah. So, yeah, so – Twelve bucks is what I paid for it. Gorilla, you're cool. So if you ever if you want it for twelve bucks, it's yours. That's a dope. That's that's a good deal because those are yeah. you can't yeah. get them books cheap anymore, man. No, hell no. That's why it's the first one I bought because anything else that I try to find, I mean, everybody's just asking so it's much. It's all money. expensive. Oh so, yeah, I haven't started on my old lamp yet. But sorry, Peter, go ahead. I have a uh, Spider-Man fifty graded at a two point five. No problems with the case at all. No nicks, no scratches, no dents, no nothing. Uh, and I will even ship it for free. Three fifty shipped. It's the best price I'm gonna do because I don't really want to get rid of it. But I'll let it go for three fifty. I'm not really sure if Starscream was trying to claim it and give that to Gorilla, or if he's just telling Gorilla to claim it. 
but I'll let them figure that out. Just then Gorilla Todd said he didn't want it. So hmm. and up, correct thing. No, you're good. Um and then if you get any other books of me, I'll also ship those for free. So you won't have to pay shipping on anything else. Um but yeah, that's that. Just hit me up if you want it. Three fifty ship. Uh, I have a half annual number eight newsstand copy. I'm grading it in the. It's a very fine. I think you could press it or whatever into like a, a very fine near mint, maybe near mint minus. If you're being real conservative, it's by a BF minus. Um, but I mean, it presents it presents like a near mint. It just it definitely needs a press. That would really help bump it up a little bit. Uh, new Steam asking $30 on this. Dope. Dope, dope, dope. If you're interested in that, let me know. It's also on my IG. I posted it this weekend. Surprised it hasn't sold yet. So, if you're interested in that, let me know. All right, right that for 30. If anyone's interested, newsstand, Captain America Annual 8, classic Wolverine battle, classic Zex cover. All right. Um, Starscream was asking about Batman runs. I don't really have runs, but I put together a couple little lots. I don't know if you'll be interested. Well, before I show these, I have really these two Gambit books. Some kissy cupboards. A little make out Monday. I'll do the pair there. You get both of these books. And I'll throw in this extra little Gambit Gambit Saber Tooth book. Um, it's five dollars. They're kissing with their fists. Yeah. They're, uh, Gambit's kissing with his fucking death rod. <laughs> um but yeah, I'm not really charging that one. These are essentially, I want $4 a piece. But if you take the set, it's five. And I'll even throw in this other book. So if you're into the Gambit Rogue Make Out Monday sale right here, five bucks for that little set. Okay, here's some Batman. The closest thing to a run I have is 631 and 632. <laughs> <laughs> like my only consecutive Batman. Um, Technically, five bucks that's the detective comics, but... Yeah. <laughs> um, five dollars for the pair they're both really nice at least very fine these are two of my favorite batman books period um it starts that the, the golem of gotham i believe it's like part one and part two so cool books to have right here i've always loved this cover it's sitting on the light black it's the bat in the background um so five for the pair And, otherwise I'm asking like four each individually. Same with this. Five dollars for the set. You get both books. It's, uh, these are detective as well. 662 and 678. And I'm essentially asking four dollars and five dollars or five dollars as a set. These are both very high grade. Sam Keith, Nolan, Nolan and Hannah, by Steve Hannah, maybe not, yeah, it's Larry Hamma, so yeah, it needs to be Steve Hannah, do, 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 five for the set right here, all right, just this book by itself, five dollars, this is Detective Annual 7, where you get first appearance of Leatherwing, Batman Pirate. He's such a swashbuckler. Fat pirate. Fat butt pirate. That's five bucks. Just this book. Five dollars. Batman three ninety nine. Five dollars. This is a near mint minus copy. High, 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 high grade. High grade. High grade. That's five bucks. Mandrake action there. 
Here we go. Five dollars for this one. Stephanie Brown revealed a spoiler. A little minor key. Dope cover. Keith Lacey, Lakey, Lackey is asking if you got any ice cream man or something's killing the children. I have like one of each. I have ice cream man number seven and I think it's something killing the children seven. It's one of the prison bee covers. That's all I have. And they're both about seven, eight bucks each. I'm not going to go dig them up. If you want them, if you want those specifically, let me know. The Ice Cream Man. It was the Comics Code variant cover where they're like, the Ice Cream Man, he's got a skirt on, a skirt on, and it's, he's like showing his ankle. And it's acting like his ankle, <laughs> his ankle is being covered by the Comics Code. That's the only one of those I have. And then, yeah, it's like something killing the children's seven. I think it's a prison virgin cover. And it's kind of green. Uh, this is five bucks. It's Batman 181, the facsimile. Why are all the good keys a 181? So, while well, you could probably get this at your own LTS for $3.99, it is $4.99 through me. It's your go go check three right here. Five bucks just for this book. Um, okay. This is sort of a run. Batman Who Laughs. One, two, three. Sorry, that's all I got. One, two, three. Ten dollars for the set. They are five dollars cover price each. Um, individually, I'm asking six for number one and then like four for two and three. So for the set, ten bucks. You essentially get a book free. He's asking he, what you want for the ice cream man book. Um, I think it's like seven, seven fifty is in the range. It's on my Instagram somewhere, but it's probably like two years back. Uh, I haven't dug it out in forever, but I think I had seven on it, seven fifty. I do a lot of seven fifty prices. I go in increments of two fifty. <laughs> Sometimes six is too cheap and eight is too much. Ten bucks. Batman who laughs. One, two, three. One, two, three. DR, DR, DR. Ten dollars. Those are all near mint plus never been read. They were doubles I got. Batman 92 and 93. Ten dollars for the set. That's because 92 here. I mean, they're three, $3.99 cover price, so with tax, it's basically ten bucks anyway. This is your first punchline appearance. First cover. First full appearance in a story. But well, yes, there was that Hello Risen and Batman 89. You said he'll take your ice cream man book. All right, cool. Yeah, let me dig it up and I'll hopefully you have an IG. Either hit me up on there or I'll do the same. Um, if your name is similar, I'll be able to figure it out. But I want, I want to send you a pic of it just to make sure. You start, Yeah, you can start a box with me for sure. And that works because I've seen you in here a few times. So. Perfecto. Batman 92, 93, 10 bucks. I think this will be a ten dollar book on its own pretty soon, probably by next year. Who knows? Maybe the punchline hype is done. But her first number one, her first solo series just came out like last week, so maybe she's getting hot again. And if so, you're gonna want this book, the first cover meeting of Harley Quinn and Punchline. Punchline, I'm gonna change your name to Knockout. Oh God, uh, that's a Finch cover. Uh, so this will run. You get. Batman 98, Joker War, Batman 99, Joker War, Nightwing Action, and Batman 100. This is the B cover. So for this set, I want 15. And these are, yeah, because this one is like a $10, $8, $8 cover price. So cover price, if you were to get these at your LCS, is going to be 16 So I'll take plus tax, probably. I'll take 15 for the set. You Batman 98, 99, 100. And this is a thicker, giant book. It's got a little spine. Batman 100. $8 cover price. So I'll do this little set for, what did I say? $15 for all three books. They're all near mint plus... And for each of these lots, I was going to try to throw in kind of a random extra Batman book I have. Uh, it might be a junky 90s book. It might have some damage, but um, I pulled out some dinky dollar books, and I was going to throw those in with these for free. So yeah, if you're interested in any of those Batmans, let me know. 
Um, and Keith, I just got your message request, so I will I'll hit you up after this. Thank you. Sounds good, dude. Um, if I still got time, I mean, I can. I don't really have anything else cheap to show. You know, you got like 15 seconds. Oh damn. Okay. Let's say I've got a first electro, but I'm probably looking at like 350 is what I'm asking. It's not bad. Um, what would no. you grade that at? The cover is detached, but it is re-stapled onto it. I think the back cover is all there, so I got got to call it like a fair to good at best. But it's complete. It's all there. Little pin right there marking. And just the fact that the cover is re-stapled. It's is the cover a detached from the back cover? Is it in two pieces? On this or one, is it I don't just know detached often. from the book. <laughs> well, let me check on this one. This one, I'm not. Sure. <laughs> yeah, the ten I knew was. Like detached in both areas, like the back yeah. cover was detached. Okay, this one is more or less the same. Yes, so the back cover detached from the book, and it's missing. Oh man, I knew it was bad. But... So it's got, it's got cut off the back bottom of the book. Oh and wow! It's, it is detached. That's sad. Yeah. But 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 but. Let me get that down. But the rest of the book is attached to it. It's restapled. They restapled everything but the back cover. I think the back cover just fell apart. So it's all still there besides that. All complete. <laughs> and really, the back, the front cover is only hanging on by the top staple. I don't want to make <laughs> it work. But yeah, front cover is attached by one top. It's com three yeah, it's, it's complete. It's just... Uh... Just pull it off, in bro. Pieces. <laughs> it's gonna fall off when you put it in anyways. Yeah, just, just put it, put it down. Yeah, um, I might be able to go as low as three hundred on that one, but right now, just as it is, I'm not aching to sell it. But uh, I guess three fifty is what I'm asking right off the top of my head. Um, gotcha. I paid two fifty myself, so I want to make it. I want to make enough that's worthwhile to sell it. Otherwise, I'll, I'll keep it. Minimal gain. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you can take the camera off me. I don't want to have people watch me struggle to get this in. <laughs> no, this is entertainment. <laughs> this is gonna be. A, this will be a tag. Okay, oh, I got it. All right, we're good. Oh, he's saying that the something is killing the children. You have is a six. Six number. Yeah, six? it is a six. Right. It's the chainsaw yeah. one. Yeah, it's the one I sent you. Where? Yeah, okay, that's what I was gonna say. Because if it was number seven, I was gonna tell you when we were done. I wanted to get it because I don't have the B cover for number seven. But yeah. Yeah, that's yeah, number six. Six and then the one you had a bunch of. I think it's eight or nine. They're the only ones I have. Okay. Where she's kind of in the middle. That's a prison cover, but it's like a, the black one. Oh, yeah, yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. All right. Well, then that's uh, that's going to do it. Like, that's uh, yeah. that's the and show also, yeah, today, y'all. If is... you want that one, I can uh, – yeah, I'll hit you up on there. Uh, I do – I'll give you a, my six for sure. That That's, uh, that's going to make – Everything there. So we, this is the wheel of people. This is all the people that bought from me today. We got T-Pain, Starscream, Emmy Comics, Max, and Cyborg Dad. So uh, if any of y'all have anybody else to add, we didn't get anywhere close to 100 thumbs up or thumbs down. So I ain't even worried about that. Um, but uh, if any of y'all got something to add, gamers, if you want to start. Yeah, I got T-Pain and Jay Blitz. That's it. Okay, so Jay Blitz. All right. What about you, Parker? Um. Well, I guess throw Keith Lackey up there. Um. Because that counts, even if I don't show the book. I said the, I named the books. Um. And then I got Titan, Titan, and Gamers, and one other. Uh, the, 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 the Star Scream. Okay, I already got Star Scream, so that should do it then. Yeah. If I missed anyone, shout it out now. But I don't think I did. I think it's just you three. All right, I'm going to yeah. let's see. Customize. I think I can add. The, oh, okay, yeah. Here I go. I can make it go for longer. We're gonna make it a thirty. Why didn't it move over? Thirty second. We're gonna make it a little bit more dramatic. <laughs> and I'm going to double up the number. So that there's smaller spaces in between everybody. 
you're amazing on a computer. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this is what we're going to do. Since we have we have 23 people in here, and two and three equals five, I'm going to shuffle this bad boy five times, spin it once, and I'm going to show you real quick what it is that the person whose name gets drawn is going to get to choose from. I know it's not the most exciting giveaway this time, but, you know, I'm working with what I got. Dude, so let me uh, – this is, uh, you'll have your choice. You'll either, either get to get this uh, Kingsman, the Secret Service, it's a Malar World trade paperback, or you can choose the uh, Max, uh, Max, the Marvel uh, Castle, Deadly Storm. Both of these are from TV series, you know, so I don't know if you've ever watched any, either one of those series, then maybe you uh, But this is Michael Bryan Bendis. And this is Mark Millar. So there, I'll just set those there. We can uh, pick whichever one you want, right? Now let me get back over to – oh, I just removed it. Get back in there. Come back up into here. So we're still at uh, – well, shit, now we're down to 18 people. We just lost freaking – oh, it's all right. I'll shuffle it nine times now. Nine times, one spin. Here we go. One, two, three, four five six seven eight nine we got jay blitz on top we're gonna spin it once whoever wins congratulations Ooh, it's so dramatic oh oh, oh. so now isn't that much better than it stopping right away <laughs> who's it gonna be is it gonna be gamers is it gonna be jay blitz i think it's gonna be jay blitz no uh J Blitz is in the house. So what I'm gonna do is uh I know J Blitz is live, he's not in here right now. And so you he don't have to be in here. He don't have to be in here to win. He should. He should. Did you exit out of that screen? I I mean I still have it. Yeah, you wanna do one more? Whoever wins on this one will give Venom number twenty eight. Sure. Um, might as well give him something nice since we had some people out here today. All right. Well, let me, uh, since Jay Blitz already won, let me remove his things and we'll take him out of there since he already won. We don't want him to win twice. That just would not be fair, would it? No. Uh, where's the other one? He's thinking if he was watching right now, he'd be like, no, <laughs> I would rather have Venom. <laughs> Sorry. All right. Well, uh, how many times you want me to shuffle it? Uh, as many as you want, man. Do a random ass number. Just shuffle, okay, shuffle, I'll shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. shuffle. A bunch, and then we'll shuffle it. So yeah, this is uh the winner is gonna win this nice lot of Venom books. So here you go. I'm gonna finger tap in and spin. I'm just laughing because you put me in there. What if I win my own book? That would you got two shots. Then I send it to you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you win, it goes to me as the host. As the host, I demand it. How are my names both together? Oh, I don't know. That's that's luck right there. Oh, it looks yeah. like Titan. It's going to be Titan or is it going to be Keith? Oh, shit. Ooh, it's creeping. Who's it going to be? Who's it going to be? <laughs> Titan wins it. I don't think Titan's in here anymore either. I'll hit him up on it. Um, so, yeah. Uh, congratulations, Titan. Yes, sir. If you are in here, congratulations. You want to show him real quick the books that he's going to win in case he is in here? Boom. You get a nice little Venom 28 since it didn't sell. Might as well give it away for free. It's a nice condition. Not a bad little book, man. There you go. Somebody could still buy this for 50 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, she looks like she's about to wrestle. <laughs> right? I like that. In my video, I put it right here when I was making the video. <laughs> she, she was just hanging out right here the whole time. <laughs> oh, man, I gotta watch it now. <laughs> It'll be that's, tomorrow. That's too good. All right, y'all. Well, I appreciate everybody coming out. I know uh, tonight was a little weird. So let me know after this post back up. You know, if y'all got a minute, come back and leave a comment. Let me know what y'all thought about it. Um, if you like the the bigger panel with shorter rounds, or you like the you know the fast pace 
how we normally do it or if you like it laid back and goofy like today and uh you know give us a little bit of feedback let me know what's going on as far as like how you're digging all this stuff uh real quick i'll let everybody say their see is and tell you what to look out for where to find them and then uh We'll get on out of here. So, gamers, where are you going to be at? What you going to be doing? So, I'm not going to be doing anything. I'm going to be just doing some YouTube videos. I'm actually doing an unboxing for Barbarian and issues that should be up tomorrow. I was just editing it yesterday and just didn't finish. Um, other than that, you know, unless Barbarian has open spots on his auctions, I'll be here and look forward to my Instagram. I will be shouting out another panel that I'll be selling out on the weekends on Facebook. Um and hopefully, maybe I can bring some of these guys there on Saturdays if they're free. So um, be looking out for that. Other Friday, than that, man. You're going to be there Friday? Yeah, Friday we are doing. I, forgot, I keep forgetting to shout that out. Friday we're doing penny auctions, which is we call it penny auctions, but it's like 50 cent dollar rounds. Um, and we do it on my channel or Peter's, whichever one of us starts streaming. Um, other than that, look out for that on Fridays. Kind of fill up the spot that Barbarian left us with. The hole in our hearts. <laughs> <laughs> so, I, 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 I lobbed the ball up for you so you could easily hit a home run. <laughs> I, I put it on the tee just for you. Yes, yeah. What about you, Parker? Um, well, um, well, as I just told the chat, we do auctions on Tuesdays. You probably just said this. So tomorrow, same time, same channel. Um, we're going to have a little auction, a little symbiote, what we call that thing? Symbiote Tuesday comic auctions? I don't remember. Um, it's the Symbiote Comic Book Club Tuesday night auction. You, you know, know that, that club that you're club? in? Open to everybody. <laughs> yeah, you, know, you know that club <laughs> you're in? You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know that comic book club that you're a part of, like with me and the other guys in the club? <laughs> Over my head. So, uh, <laughs> thanks for everyone who came out and, and watched. I mean, bought, I mean, didn't buy. Um, no, who cares? Uh, those, those of you who just come and hang out or just show your support, we like that equally. Maybe not equally. Yeah, equally. We want to keep the channel growing. So those who just come up, come to hang out, that's totally cool. Keep it up. We appreciate it. Come back tomorrow. We're going to do the same thing. Um, beyond that, as I said before, I can hold books for people. So same rules are going to apply tomorrow. If you see something you want and you win an auction, uh, maybe we can work out – put the down payment down on the shipping, but I can hold your books. I can do layaway from now until Christmas and whatnot. We can figure something out. I don't mind doing holds. And as always, nah, who cares? I said I do like flat rate shipping, so you can always build a box with me, make it worthwhile. Um, and anything I have to say on my Instagram, I just posted, I think, 30 or 40 new books just this weekend. So I got a lot of new stuff up for grabs. Um, go put in some claims. We can... Um, combine your what you have on hold with me here through youtube and yeah i don't know go subscribe to my channel i post haul videos and that's about it but i post at least one a week usually two or three and they're fun and i don't know what i'm doing with my hands so i'm gonna sit on them and then <laughs> say goodbye <laughs> bye all right all right i should have moved my camera while i was at it so i'm gonna find out which one of these books that jay blitz wants and uh in the meantime you know like he said tomorrow tuesday seven o'clock p.m eastern standard time right here on the barbarian kung fu channel we do an auction we do it every week monday and tuesday we sell every week from seven to ten so be there be square get your books dirt cheap that's what we do we sell stuff for next to nothing because we're all fucking morons and we like to be really nice and sell stuff for really cheap all right. um, but uh yeah if uh if y'all don't have plans for the rest of your night i dropped a link in the chat for my boy, Mr. Gorell's channel, me and him do a show called The Hunters at 11 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. So in like 45 minutes, go over there and check us out. It is the best comic book related show on YouTube by far, hands down. Nobody's is better. It's the best. Fuck the rest. That's what I got to say about that. And uh, if you don't go watch it, then you, you, it, you're going to suffer in the long run. That's the way I look at it. So... Go check him out. Give him a sub and ring that bell so when we go live, you don't miss it. Do the same thing here if you feel like it. You like comic book stuff. I do comic book stuff, and uh, you can watch it. <laughs> but other than that, y'all, peace out. Be real. Thanks for coming out. Thanks for all the support. And